It's also Friday night. What are you planning on doing? What are you planning on doing? What are you planning on doing? You are now listening to Limited Trust, a Devastator podcast. Let's get into it. Episode 54, Limited Trust, a Devastator podcast. We are back, and you, you know when I say we, motherfucker, you know what that means. True Chain's back in the fucking building. Yo, yo. He is back, and we got some shit to talk about. He's got a list of people that he is about to air out right now. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. So we about to fucking tighten up those assholes. Talking shit about everybody. So we fucking, all we've been doing is talking shit. Nobody's That's safe. <laughs> So, welcome back. We've we've only been talking for like a fucking hour out here already. So I'm gonna pretend like he just sat down. Welcome back. Hey, thanks, thanks for coming. This is great. <laughs> I love what you've done. It. Fucking hey, look, I still got. I I I had to move you from over here to over there for now. Oh shit. For safety. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, and it'll probably get moved again when it comes when it's gonna come inside. Once the room is done, we're gonna have it. Word. You're gonna be indoors. Do I still get the stain test the fucking board today? No. no. I mean you can. It's just I didn't fucking I didn't have enough time to clear everything out. But absolutely, if we can fucking move some shit, you can do whatever you want. I, I just yes. Yes. The answer is yes. I just didn't I thought that would be like a big Fuck pain away. in the balls. No, please, I would love for you to. I don't give a shit. I just fucking I I was looking at it. Did you see me looking over here the whole time? Going Fuck man. Lazy ass bitch never fucking cleaned out the fucking shit. Who did that? Which one? Who's oh, ready? that's T. Is it? Yeah, he did it fucking sitting here on the last episode. Nice. Yeah, it was tits. Okay. I could never fucking draw anything like that. I'm just not capable of like the just character. You got a belt buckle and shit. Like I could never pull that off. I could never do that. Which one are you talking about? Oh, which one are you talking about? I was talking about the writing on the wall. His oh, hand style. that's me. Yeah, that's clean as fuck, dude. Oh, well, what thank did, you. What did he do? He did the parking sign with the little man. Oh, word. <laughs> that's dope as fuck. Isn't that tits? I could never do something like that. Oh, but yeah, I could do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I could do that. Oh, yeah. That was that was when um that 237 came back out, and then like fucking a day after... Everything fucking it the the garage threw up on itself into here and fucking damn I've gotten like six fucking scam. Calls. I see that they're fucking relent. They know it's my birthday. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah, they I, do. I, I I bring it on myself and she says it because I always ask for hand jobs constantly. They'll flip out. They'll f- oh from the phone people. Yes. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Her too. They both say the same thing. <laughs> Fuck you. I love fucking your open sucker. honesty, man. <laughs> no, I always uh, fucking, I'll, I'll take them through the whole thing, you know, oh, you're fucking Medicaid for A and B, blah, blah, blah. And then they'll put me on with a person and they'll say, just wonder if your sister is available for a hand job. Fuck your fucking mother, motherfucker. Oh my God. Oh, it's hilarious. Next one that calls, we'll try to get a live one. We'll try to get one right on there. See, I'm in a, a weird place because, like, I have to watch those calls because I get, like, people calling me that I need to answer now for, like, oh, yeah. real well, world shit. Numbers so, it's like, shit. I don't know what those numbers are. So, now I have to, like, actually answer them. And, yeah, it sucks. But what I did learn is if if they're, <coughs> depending on where they're from, yeah, doesn't work on uh, Indian scam calls. But if you answer, and assalamu alaikum, they'll fucking hang right up. Because they know you're in the fucking in the crew, yeah. They, they don't want. They just say fucking hang up. But then I learned how to say Shup Sandia Man Kamimi, which is Indian for uh, "Good evening, motherfucker" or some shit. Because it's evening there, then they'll they'll get mad at you then too. But <laughs> I don't know what's worse though. Is it getting scam calls or needing to call customer service for something and not getting a human? You know, because I hate that. I, I'm trying to think of the last time I actually had to call somewhere. I had to call my car insurance company the other day, and it was like fucking pulling teeth just, just to get a person. Just couldn't do it. Yeah, dude. But that's like at more least and more. the the scam people they at least talk to me like you know I'm talking to someone and they talk to me like me. Fuck you, cocksucker. Yeah, I, I can relate to that. Right. <laughs> 
We what I did what happened something that did happen that I was super fucking surprised about the other day is um I had a video that got like ninety thousand views. Yeah. Yeah, well, you can adjust that too if oh, it, right. yeah, it can you can oh yeah you can fucking push it around or do Sweet. whatever you got to. Um so it brought all this attention to yeah. the page. Ninety that was like the best ever I ever had. Of a fucking ninety thousand views was tits. Jesus. And um people were sending me messages about the shop on the Instagram page. And I'm like, fucking shop? It was a pen and a lighter. And they rolled this out as like a beta like months ago, a year ago maybe. And I like set up a couple items. The shit never panned out. And I just said, ah, I fucking forgot about it. Yeah. So then I go, oh shit, this, I can't believe this is still on here. I got to get rid of this. This is bullshit. Oh, no. Um, I couldn't. I can't figure it out. I'm oh. going through everything. So it's like, you need to get on Facebook. I'm like, dude, I ain't been on Facebook in fucking like 12 years. All right. So I go, all right, I'll go to the fucking Facebook, whatever. It doesn't show that I'm online, which is good. I was like, yes, I'm asking her, does it show I'm online? Does it show I'm online? I don't fucking, nope, nope, you're good. Nothing, can't figure it out. I went to a um, a help queue. Took me a half an hour to figure out how to get there. And then it's like, okay, your name, your phone number, your email, what's your problem? Bam, it says, trying to open messenger you need to download messenger oh. and i said like, i'm not getting fucking messenger yeah and so i just closed it out and i got you know like my hundred phone calls a day that i get dude they called me in like an hour and then said we're trying to get a hold of you this is meta yeah. we're trying to talk to you about this the items in the shop that you have you want to get rid of and then they called back again they said you know we, we know you probably don't recognize this number and and i was like couldn't Holy fucking shit. Be- yeah, called me back. I couldn't fucking believe it. Some bull, you know, I'm nobody. Yeah. You know, it wasn't like fucking. Yeah. So I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. But then I still never got it worked out. And then the video died down. So people stopped fucking being interested in that. So I was like, oh, well, whatever. But it bothered me. I did. Dude, I was looking for hours. She's going, would you just drop it? Does it even matter? I'm like, it does matter. Yeah. When you go to the Devastator page, it says view shop. Yeah. And it's a shop is nothing. <laughs> it doesn't even fucking work. So, yeah, I was fucking... Ugh. But I, I couldn't have, fucking believe that someone called me back from fucking Facebook. I would have asked to get Zuckerberg on the phone. I need to talk to the man. I, I wish I would have been able yeah. to talk to someone. I disregarded him. But they did call me at like fucking 9 o'clock at night, which was weird. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. But it was... what It came up California. So that was what? It's still like 6. It's still like 6 there. So they were like, oh, fucking call me 6 o'clock. Wherever this guy is, <laughs> this guy with his two items in his shop that's, fucking funny. that's keeping him up at night, we'll call him back. <laughs> yeah, so I break I break the fucking people's balls. I'm, I'm Now I'm like, all right, we got to get one. We'll put it on a speaker. And yeah, see dude. I, see if I can get a guy to fucking flip out. If, if I can get it, it'd be tits. You know, you can't find a fucking thing to record calls. There's like not an app. I feel like it somewhere is recording your calls anyway. <laughs> What Some, a great segue. If you if you got in fucking trouble, the feds will be able to pull your calls. Yo, big so time. So somebody's got those calls. Big time. Oh, you, you should be able to. It's all there. Do you I, you probably were on this too. I remember years ago, I when I still use Facebook, so this was 12 years ago. Okay. I would see ads for shit that I was talking about. Oh yeah. And I and this was fucking years and years ago and I used to tell my dad, dude, I was talking about this shit, and now I'm seeing ads for it. And he used to tell me, you're fucking crazy. You're crazy. Yeah. It's, it's just, you must have looked it up. I go, I didn't look it up. We are talking about it. I didn't look it up. I'm not researching this. I was just in conversation. Something random. Yep. And now, for a couple of years, he sent me the shit when it would happen. Shit yeah. that him and I talked about. And now he's fucking totally on board. And he goes, fuck, now if I want to know some information or find the closest retailer, I just talk about it and shit, and it'll show. They uh, they put it, they don't hide it. They put it right in their uh, disclosure. Oh, I'm it's, sure. It's right in, it's in the fine print. It's, it's got to be all in there. It's primarily the Messenger app. So if you don't have the Messenger app, it's not as much. But the Messenger app, it says right in it, will listen to your phone when you're not using it for keywords for marketing and advertising. Of course, of course it does. So it is always listening to you. And I did see something else, too, online a couple weeks ago that was kind of trippy. Somebody was recording their friends with an infrared camera, and the lights were off in the room, and their phones 
They could see little flashes. It was taking face pictures every 10 seconds. Get the fuck out of here. They couldn't see it until they, the room was dark and they had an infrared camera and you could see little flashes coming from their fucking cameras. Every 10 seconds, it was taking a selfie. No shit. So your phones are always trying to take pictures. And, of and just monitoring mm-hmm. the room. Yeah. And especially if you're using it. Yep. It's fucking... Yep. Yeah. I don't doubt... Well, it, it, now maybe this might be too... This might be a little too deep. No, I don't think it's too deep. We can't go too deep. No There's no fucking too deep. Um, I've thought things, never said it, never Googled it at work, thinking mm-hmm. about shit. Yeah. And then there's a fucking ad. Now, and I don't know if it's like, oh, you get you get a fucking a silver minivan, and then you start seeing them everywhere. And maybe this was in there before, but I until I was thinking about it... You know, was I conscious of these ads or this type of shit? But it was all some oddly specific weirdo shit. And I always, be, and someone always said, you're fucking brainwaves and shit. Yeah. These waves are all connected. And I was like, that might be much, but then again. Oh, it's real. But is it? It's very real. Right? It's it, like Scientologists, Scientology people, they call it the power of manifestation. Same thing with all those hippies that meditate all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no different than religion and the power of prayer. You're still manifesting. You're still focusing your energy and your thoughts onto something good or bad. Right. And it, it is real. It does it does create an actual... It, it sends a signal out into the fucking universe around you. And it, it comes together, man. It might not be immediately. It might be years later. But, you know, if you're if you're negative and you're thinking about bad shit all the time, more bad shit's going to happen to you because right. you're, you're attracting bad shit. I, I believe... And it, which could fall in the line of karma, I would assume... Right, like in the same yeah. wavelengths of fucking, and w- which kind of comes from do one to others. Yeah, and you know, you want to fuck around, you're asking for it, and sometimes you get it, and you're not asking for it. But I feel like a lot of times, um, and I when I'm asking myself in my mind, why the fuck is this happening right now? Yeah, and then I think, hmm. Well, maybe even something as stupid as when I was driving. It's, what the fuck? Get the come on, lady. Get the move yeah. to myself. But it's not. That's negative. Yeah. So I, you know, I I think about shit like that. But then I'm like, dude, if I had to really take checks and balances of <coughs> everything I've ever done in life, it's. But. Yeah. It's... So. Anyway, we're trying to get a million dollars over here to make some moves. So if you got anything, it'll show me. It'll be like self help. Fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> right. Like, Buy this course. <laughs> Only fans. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Dude. Oh, I was about to tell a story, but I can't. About a family member of mine. Oh no. Yeah. Are they a listener. At some point, possibly. Okay. And I would feel bad because he he's so full of shit, dude. Oh, <laughs> if no. I remember, I'll fucking tell you afterwards. He is so fucking full of shit, and it's got. Oh, it's something to do with what you just said. It's ridiculous. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. That's fucking crazy. What a setup. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's there, all right. There's still a, a fucking story that I brought up the first time with T, the first time he sat down. Yeah. And I, and I was like, I'll tell you afterwards. And then the next time he came, he's like, oh, oh, all right. Well, remember to tell me that shit. And we st- I still haven't told him. I got to, like, write it down on a fucking post-it note next yeah. time he comes over. Mm-hmm. That's funny. I texted him. I talked to him this morning. What's he doing? I, I don't know. It was very brief. I sent him a picture. I was in a building the other day, and I saw one of his old pieces. Oh, no. Oh, is that what you pulled with the mattress and shit? Yeah, and I sent him a picture of that. Can you imagine what the fuck that mattress has seen? That place is so grimy. Is it? That place is not. It doesn't look familiar to me. I've never been wherever that is. The old... Uh, is that the incinerator? Nah, no, it's the old vacuum oil factory. So That's the first I've ever even heard of the vacuum. No, it had oil. the old the the big fucking bird on the side of it from Roa. It's been there for. Oh shit! Over like off, of, off of Flint of Street. Flint Street. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but I, it just got sold. Exxon Mobil just Exxon bought it because they're gonna probably tear it down and fucking clean the site up. No shit. And so I was like, Oh, oh that man. runs. Doesn't that right along the river? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's fucking get in there. I was driving. I wasn't. It wasn't even a plan. I was just driving by the neighborhood exactly. and I saw Flint. I was like, Let's go. Was it hard? I'm sure all the people, anyone who's fucking gonna know, they already know. Yeah. They already been there. Yeah, but yeah, they're they're doing a lot of shit with all them sites. Yeah, the incinerator they boarded all up, they sealed that up tight, and they put police cameras out in the trees. Oh, really? 
No yeah. shit. Yeah, which is cool though because like I had gotten in there like a week before and I got some fresh pieces up, so now they're preserved and oh, they're in the in the capsule, the fucking safe, in the fucking time capsule. Yeah, that was like the uh, like the towers before fucking whoever got fucking stuck and they cut it open and fucking opened the time capsule. Yeah, whoever got stuck. <laughs> I heard stories. Oh yeah, I heard stories. That, a, that must have been a long way down though. Well, I mean. I would be fucking scared. Of I mean, shit. I heard she got in pretty successfully with the trees. Really? But but, not. but getting out because you can, you know, your weight, you can hang down from a tree, but then that branch fucking snaps Is back up. Is that what the deal was? So, supposedly? Because at the time people were climbing in from the trees. Yeah. Because right. I could, I saw a few people do it. No and, shit. And that's, and then somebody, How the fuck do you get out? Well, everyone but one person everyone got out. Everyone but one person. Then the fire department had to come up with ladders and they had to... Pull a little res- little rescue mission, and then they cut the fucking doors open. They, they did the other one, too, because they said, we don't fucking want to come back here. We don't want to do this again. <laughs> yeah. I went up there, and I saw they were still fucking working on it when I went up there to paint the first time, and they asked me to leave. Did they really? They said, you got to go. They were super chill. They were like, because they weren't up there at the time when I got there, and I just started painting inside one of them because I wanted to get the fresh walls. Oh, you were in. in. Yeah, I got oh, in it. <laughs> and uh, they peek in. He's like, hey, man, um, I don't care that you're doing this, but... <laughs> My supervisor's coming up here in a little bit to check our work, and it would really be cool if you weren't here painting. And then he did that. <laughs> I was like, all right, man, that's fair enough. All right, you, man, all right. So I fucking left, and then I came back the next day, and the piece that I started was already dissed. It already had fucking stupid. Oh, it took fucking no time at all. Oh, oh, here we are. You got one? I got one. Sorry. Go. Here, everyone. Do Let's it. see what we can do. Hello? Hello. Hello. Hi, this is Jean with your senior privileges. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm calling because the updated plans for Medicare have just been released, and it may give you some better access to things like dental, vision, hearing, and over-the-counter benefits. Now, these benefits aren't automatically given, so we are calling to make sure that you actually are given everything you may be entitled to. Uh, There's also an additional benefit, which you may qualify to get up to $148 a month. That is cash back to your Social Security, uh, depending on your income. Now, I believe you do have Medicare Part A and B, correct? Yes, I do. I do. That's awesome. Okay, this is all the information that I need for my side to check your eligibility, and it does look like you qualify. I'm going to go go get a licensed agent to get you some more detail. Give me just a second, please. Oh, great. It goes, whoop. <laughs> yeah, this is Daniel. How are you? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm fine. Thank you so much for asking. Well, this call is about Medicare benefit and saving that you may qualify for extra benefit. So I do believe that you have the Medicare Part A and Part B both. Is that right? Yes, I also, the woman on the phone said your mother was available for a hand job. Is that true? Oh. <laughs> Fucker. As soon as he made a noise, I thought he was going to fucking do it. Oh, the little moment of... Oh, yeah. Oh, and then they just come all night. Dude, I got 40 one day. God damn. Yeah. Oh, watch out for the dogs. The motherfucker dogs is running loose. Don't run over his dogs. I don't want to have to kill that motherfucker. Yeah. Because he'll be upset that he don't keep his dogs in check, and then it'll be someone else's fault, I'm sure. Anyway. Yeah, oh, so... Where the fuck were we? I'm sorry. Before, oh, I, before no, I, was I was so rudely interrupted by a scam caller... Uh, who's specifically uh, targeting people in their 70s. Oh, we were talking about painting the cops hill. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. yeah. Fucking, uh, and then cutting the, cutting the, the shit cut open the in shit the open. fucking fire department. Yeah. There's there's a couple of dope places that I've never been in the city that I've seen pictures of and shit. And I still want to get into that fucking um, Terrence Towers there, man. Oh, the one they're going to make a hotel? Is that really what they're going to do? That's the latest plan. No shit. I don't know if I want to go in there. That's nah. like the I've I've been in almost just about every spot in Rochester now. That's the one that I just can't. You, no no I, interest. I walk around it like I, I'll check in the windows and shit, and I'll get a vibe of the building, and I just it feels so fucking uncomfortable. Oh, that's an ominous ass. It's place. just such a fucking heavy dark energy that I don't want to be there. <laughs> like I feel like a million angry eyes looking out of those windows at me, and it's like I don't want to go in here, man. This don't I'm not. It's not worth it. Like. I I have always wanted to because 
there was um the place on uh, Whitney Street that's not there anymore. Yeah. It used to go m- multiple blocks. Oh, it, the Delco building. Was it? it was Sykes Datatronics, yeah. all that shit. The, remember when it was really big? Before oh. it burned down in 2009? Yes. Yeah. That's where I spent a lot of my childhood. That's where you used to steal copper. Word. We used to cut the boxes off the fucking... Oh, oh yeah. It was a big deal. Big, yeah. Big, yeah, I was in there as a child for a lot. They had one whole floor full of old computers. Mm-hmm. And old, like... Yeah. Not you remember the floppy drives that we had in school? Like mm-hmm. there were like three by whatever. Oh, I remember. These ones were twelve by. Yeah. But excuse me. Um. So that was like they had a whole floor of old ass fucking computers, and then one whole floor was waved. Yep. From the People water. People skateboarding there. Yeah, we used to do that shit. Yep. It, so we stole all kinds of shit. But I I've always searched for that feeling because I could just be there all day. Yeah. I loved that building. And um, I could be there all fucking day. And uh, I always felt like the uh, Terrence, I don't know, what do they call it? The Terrence building. Terrence. I always felt like that place would provide that same feeling. Yeah. But then I also understand what the fuck you're saying because when you're, it's a monster too. That's got to be the biggest building in the city. Yeah, 17 stories at least. I mean, not counting like downtown. What are downtown? What are those? Are they 20? Like, like the old Xerox building shit? They got to be. It, it just... I bet you area wise, it's probably bigger, huh? It's pretty big. It, it feel, or at least it feels like it. It's got a weird history too. Does it? It was a, it was a state hospital, right? State hospital was super short lived because it was like not long after they opened it that they started coming out with new medications for mental health, and they really didn't need the asylum factor that they had. No shit. And so it was only after a few short decades that they started pretty much closing down. I remember it being open. I remember driving by in the nineties. And it was open, and there were cars in the parking because it didn't close down until the nineties. I see. I I don't remember that. Yeah. And I don't like. I don't remember. And my my stepdad's mom lives on fucking Azalea, which is like right there. And I don't ever remember that being like a discussion because it's probably just another building. It was just another hospital at the time. So, bam, damn. Yeah. I remember the house next door to it was haunted. Really? It It was one of the famous haunted houses in Rochester, and they tore it down and built an old folks' home. Oh, where that is? Okay. That that, that, like white. Yeah. Fucking rail fence around the street. That, mm-hmm. that used to be a famous haunted house in Rochester. No shit. So you know there's still ghosts there. Oh, I believe it. I believe yeah, that, are you a ghost believer? Of course. I I believe it. Well, yes and no. I mean, I totally do. I just don't know if I would believe it as ghosts like like people think of ghosts. Like in your oh. I'm I'm kind of more of like multi-dimensional theory and we're just seeing windows into other worlds that are happening around us. So would you think that you or I fucking, do we have the opportunity to return as energy and manipulate or visit or or do you think it's even beyond that i think it's endless i think there's infinite numbers of you and me existing on different channels right making all different decisions living different lives is this is different people but the same people and every time it differs it it's it It, it varies off and creates a new universe creates a new branch of of the way everything could happen yep that's what i think so do you do you believe that the Mandela effect has is that up is that that crossing the yes. branches crossing? I think it's getting very wild. I think it's gotten amplified in the last I would say 10 11 years. I think 2012 was the, when, the CERN shit. The that, CERN shit. I think that's when, when it, things really got crazy. It like the way I picture it in my mind is like um do you know when when a base hit like not the the initial base, but when it when everything reverberates yep. and goes like this, like like the dimensions fucking wow wow and fucking crossed over one another. That's what I picture with things like that, and it resonates for who knows eternity yeah. possibly. Yeah, that's the that's the theory. Is that so? Because I don't know a whole lot about that, but it was that was when the God particle was created, mm-hmm. right? When they fucking collided. When we discovered it. I, now, yeah. see, that whole thing, I have, I don't, my brain doesn't even understand, <coughs> like, how you do that. So, it's a, it's like a, it's a three-mile loop that right. runs under Switzerland and France. Right. And they accelerate particles. I don't know how the fuck they do That's that That's what part. I wonder. Like, I don't know how is, they, how they eliminate or, or separate particles. Right. Where they accelerate them to supersonic speed and then mash into each other and collide to see what happens. Right. And now, do you view this, is it microscopically, you know? Like, is it not even microscopic? Yeah. Is it, like, readings of, well, that was here, and now it's not there. Or now it's ten times. Right. That that shit is, like, beyond. That I don't. 
It looks that's, crazy. That's too. beyond me. It looks like oh, focus. it looks so impressive, so terrifying. Yeah. Oh yeah. So who the fuck paid for that? Yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck paid for that? And I've heard of them having like rituals and shit there and, and like elite meetings where they all dress up in fucking robes and have no shit. fucking ceremonies. Like and... some fucking Bohemian Grove shit? Yep. Wow. You know, all of our presidents and shit are part of that. Do, now, do you think that's the, like the same same group of mm-hmm. people? Yep. Yeah, you got to be in a fucking club to like... It's a club, man. There's definitely a fucking club. I believe that shit 100%. World Economic Forum. Now, would you say... Now, this... I try not to brush on politics mm-hmm. because it upsets people. Yeah, it does. In I my, don't care anymore. Though. In, in my politics, well, I know I could talk about anything with you, but yeah. for the listeners, I stay away. Yeah. Because, you know, I could talk. I know I could talk about anything with you. Right. But now, with someone like Donald Trump, is he in the club? No. That's what I was thinking. That's that's the whole thing, and that's why it's such a weird topic. Right. Because like, he's a character that's easy to hate. Right. If you if you don't like loud aggressive personalities, right, it's really easy to play on that. Right. And my logic for not hating Trump, I, I wouldn't say I, I love the guy. I'm not like a, you'll never catch me wearing a fucking MAGA hat or anything. <laughs> right. But I never caught onto the hate wagon, and and I just I could never get worked up like those people, because like I saw the programming, like right. I, I watched like, so it's like here's my opinion. It's like all those people in the TV, and the news, and the government, they're all pieces of shit. Yeah, they're they're the worst of the worst trying to influence us for bad things. Puppet master. When they're all of a sudden telling me who the bad guy is, Mm. I question that because they're the bad guy. It should be apparent. Right. To to anybody viewing. Right. No one should have to guide me to who the fuck is doing wrong. Right. And (laughs) when I see that much push, it makes it apparent that he's not part of that club. Right. But there's also it's not just America. This is happening everywhere. It's this group, the World Economic Forum, it's mm-hmm. the United Nations, and it's the world elite, and they have their own team of people that they're putting in place in all of the major countries so they can take over and have things their way. So it's happening here with Joe Biden. That's why That's why it, it's a feeble old man that can be manipulated and controlled to do whatever somebody else wants. I've seen some wild shit. Yeah. With like, like this was un... Like, not, you know, fact check. This has got 5 million views. It's been up for a year without the little fact. So I'm like, this is official. Yeah. This, like, this motherfucker, he was doing all kinds of weird shit. Like, I know that the first thing they took away from my great grandfather, who was, he's got a checkered past. Yeah. From Germany. <laughs> he's got a, <laughs> he's got, he was my great grandfather. The first thing they took away from him was his fucking ladders, right? Okay. When he was, old yeah and then they took away his fucking car because he used to drive his impala down the road and fucking smash into everything accidentally right i do think there should be like a fucking you know sometimes sometimes you gotta get shit taken away from you Mm -hmm. and and to have the, the highest seat dude i don't know who but he he's looking rough He's looking fucking rough. He's looking very and rough. And I'm not, I'm not, I, I, well, I can't, I, even if I could, I wouldn't have vote. I don't vote. I, yeah. don't, I don't fuck around with that. Yeah. I learned about the electoral college a long time ago and I said, oh, this is all bullshit. It doesn't matter. This is bullshit. It is an illusion I, at this I, point. And, and I, I had people argue with me. Yeah. But I'm like, I'm a felon. I have to, I would have to take an extra step. I could get it back now. Yeah. But I would have to do shit and I'm like, I'm it's not. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. And then I said, what? Oh, God. I, I'm, we're, we're on a roll. Fuck that. Yeah, we're doing too good. <laughs> um, I think it's just as American to exercise my right not to vote. Yeah. That's why I supposedly I have a fucking choice. Yeah. And it does. Oh, you have to. People died for. No, they died for me to have the fucking choice that if I just want to sit here and watch, I can do that. There's not a. Re- if it was a requirement, it would be a fucking requirement. People yeah. vote for the right to complain. Right. Because you, you have you have the right to say. Your president sucks. That's not who I voted for. Right. Fuck you. <laughs> right. That's, or that's the difference. Or, uh, uh, uh. Right. Yeah. Look at what we're doing. <laughs> look at yeah. me, bitch. Yeah. That's why people vote, so they can go home and they can say, "Well, I didn't do that." And and and, and I'm I'm fine if that's what you do. Yeah. I don't, dude. I don't care. Treat me properly, and I don't fucking give a shit what you do. Right. I believe me. I know you. We both know people who are into some shit. Yeah. And they treat me good, so I don't fucking give a shit. Yep. You know. So, but. I, 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 I understand what you mean where fucking he's probably not in the club. No. I mean, it's so here's OK. This is funny because 
Yes, maybe a little bit too. In the elitist part? In the elitist part. And here's a funny little twist that a lot of people don't know. Mm. Nikolai Tesla, mm-hmm. when he died in a Hotel New Yorker mm-hmm. and the FBI was in a hotel room across the street, across the hall from him because they were watching him. Conveniently. For the last, they, were, they were set up watching him for the last couple of years. And when he died, they immediately raided his room and they took all of his files and all of his documents and shit out of his safe. The leading FBI agents were John Trump and Vannevar Bush. No shit. So it was a Trump and a Bush were the leading agents that that took Nikolai Tesla's shit when he died. Wow. So those are two weird connections. Imagine and so there's like weird have. theories that Donald Trump is a time traveler. Right. And that he his you know, his uncle oh. got a hold of shit from Tesla. And that's how he was able to get to where he is now. I heard uh, the the Baron Trump thing. Yeah, the Baron but, Trump. But then I but see what the way I thought about it was. I go maybe someone along the line said, "Look at this. This is fucking cool." And he said, "Yeah, that sounds great." Yeah. I don't know. I I don't know. I my my mind always tries to like, all right, let's see. Yeah. Because you know, there's some shit out there where you're like, oh, I don't know about this. Yeah. Oh, a lot. You know, I don't know about. But then you go, oh. So I the first thing I always try to do because I just don't want to be. Oh, look at this gullible fucking, you know, this yeah. guy's gullible. He'll believe anything. Oh, we tell him that there's fucking this or that. And a lot of shit is turning out to be true. Right. <laughs> a lot. Space may be the final frontier, but it's yeah. made in a Hollywood basement. The fuck was that? And I guess he's a fucking, he's a chome, apparently. Who? Kiedis. Who? Fucking Red Hot Chili Peppers. Anthony Kiedis? Supposedly. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's what I heard. I don't fucking know. I don't know. I, 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 there was something where he was like, had like a 14-year-old girlfriend or some shit back in the 90s. Oh, really? I guess. I, I don't know. I uh, shouldn't say that without the proper paperwork. So many of those. I saw that with Jerry Seinfeld, too. Really? I didn't realize oh, that Jerry yeah, Seinfeld's yeah, yeah. wife was like a teenager when they first got There's together. There's a multiple that were like, oh, who the fuck was it? I want to say Leo back. Yeah, Leo probably. Like, like early on. But because he's like fifty now, yeah. or maybe even he's probably fifty. He's gotta be. But I remember like early on they were like real on the cusp. Now apparently it's like twenty five where he gets rid of them. But I <laughs> yeah. But I'm thinking like I think when he was in his thirties they were like like he picking them up from high school kind of shit. Yeah. I think. But I, again I don't know. I don't want to say shit about people and I don't really have the fucking. There's a lot of people flying under the radar. Right. That, oh. that did shit. Fuck yeah. But it all depends on, a lot of it is your political standings. Right. You know, like right now they're going after Russell Brand. Oh, Who, really? He's a smart motherfucker, man. Well, they're, they're cute. Four chicks are saying he sexually assaulted him now. <sighs> and he's coming right out and saying this is the most fucking stupid bullshit. He's like, yeah, I was banging everybody back in the day, but it was all consensual. And right. If you just follow the pattern, you know, they, they're doing it with him. You know, they did it with Trump. They did it with Joe Rogan. They did it with all of the people that are like keeping an open dialogue and trying to break shit down are the people that they're targeting and attacking. And they're saying they're racist or they're sexist or they're rapists. It's, right. And it's all bullshit. Fucking Andrew Tate. You know, they tried fucking charging yeah. him. They tried charging him with with trafficking and, and tried yeah, to ruin right. the dude. And they couldn't come up with shit. Now he's suing them for defamation of character As because it was all bullshit. As he should. Yeah. You know, and I, I've only seen little bits and pieces of him. Yeah. And I think... I think a, a good portion of it is like almost like a character. He's a character. Like He's almost a satirical. Fucking character. You know, I don't think a lot of people believe, like, I don't think he even believes a lot of the bullshit that he's saying. Right. But the. To shut him down was real. But he's got some good points. Oh, he, for sure. He's, he's certainly. A, he's certainly. Got, it's, I like, that's the thing about some people that are smart is they're also kind of batshit crazy. And right. you got to filter out. But like, he, he's got some some valid points and he brings up some very interesting shit. Oh, it, like stuff like, are you fucking serious? You're kidding me? Well, I would just be like this. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, he's right. Mm-hmm. No, I, I agree with that, especially. And, I, and I'm not I'm not too familiar with a lot of things that he's talked about. Yeah. But the things that I have seen, like where he calls me like, oh, brokey, brokey. I don't believe that he actually really believes that. Right. That regular ass. I mean, people, right, fucking there's regular people. But then other shit, like, it's like, yeah, this is fucking, I'm trying to think who the fuck just got a, some sexual fucking whatever. Just recently. It was only one. It was one person. And I told Erica, I was like, at some point I go, oh, they're going to fucking get rid of him. And then next thing you know, well, not, it was like six months later. Oh, he's, uh. It was recent, within the last month, I think. Yeah, Somebody think. It was fresh, and I go, oh, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah. 
but they like whatever whatever angle it is like wh- whoever you fall if you look like you get all kinds of bitches you're gonna be a sexual assaulter yeah if you uh if you look like this you know if you're power elitist well you're racist if you're you know whatever seems like it would fit you the most to paint a picture of you yeah i could definitely fucking see that and the scary thing is how well people play into it big time it is i had no idea that at least 50 percent of the humans walking around me are just program bots yes that don't have free thought and all they do is absorb what they're told and repeat it right it's so wild like oh you yeah can, regurgitating like, oh my god you can have like genuine discussions with somebody where you give them fact for fact proof about everything that that they think might be wrong right and it's just it's like talking to a wall it's like you just can't get past it it's so wild right right it and is the shit that people believe now is just insane to me big time oh i am, big I am time. not cut out for this new world and it and it's and it kind of just unfolded all of a sudden. Next thing you know, shit is crazy. <laughs> Super fucking weird, man. Yeah. I just um I actually just read I'd finished it probably a month ago, nineteen eighty four. Yep. Never read it. Yeah. Fucking read it. Jimmy, I was reading out my shit. Jimmy goes, You met Jimmy, he's yep. do the floors. He does still do the floors with me. He's like he's reading heavy and he he's like, I just bought a new book. Then he read it in like a fucking two days. and he, So I forgot to finish. I said, I gave it back to him. I switched it out for a Forge of Gods or something. Okay. Which I think you would dig. Forge by the Gods? Forge by the God, maybe. By Von Daniken? No, 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 no. Not that. No, this is a this is fiction. This is okay. sci-fi. Okay. But in the, in the vein of fucking th- things are showing up. Yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, it, it, lo- it looks cool. I haven't started it yet. But, um. So he read it, and now I got to finish it in the hardcover, and I was like, damn. Yeah. Last line is that he fucking loved Big Brother. And after all that shit, he tried to fight all the cells, people fucking, you know, damn. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, yeah, this makes more sense now than fucking, than when it came out, I'm oh. sure. Yep. This future dystopian fucking, this week we hate this one, this week we're at it's war with so this one. Wild programming you all you know this is what well we tell you oh yeah we don't like this person we don't like that person did you see uh they live yeah oh hell same, yeah roddy piper same man. concept man fucking that is crazy did you just see the thing that came out with the four people walking down the street fucking um they look like models wearing all this shit but the clothing is in such a way that when you look at it like this it says obey no fucking dude now, you'll see it now that we talked about yeah. it, it'll show up. It'll be on it. my phone. Mm-hmm. And it's it, it it's it's official. Like unless it's just some Photoshop trickery. Yeah. But they're wearing the clothes that look like <coughs> you know these outfits were picked for that. And who knows? They they could be doing a fucking remake, and that could be a uh, um you know how they've been putting like the fucking fake aliens and shit places, and uh, for some film that's coming out. On the subway train yeah. and shit, or whatever, or they're just wanting to get us used to seeing shit like that, so I run another freak out. <laughs> they, yeah. <laughs> what do you, oh, so now that I'm thinking of it, it's fresh right on the top of my head. What do you think about the fucking um, the uh, the little the fucking mummified? Oh God, that looks so fake. That looks so, that looks like some bullshit. That looks so fake. <laughs> There's there are so many stories over the years of of aliens that we have like the bodies that we've recovered yeah and shit it's like to hit us with that it's insulting <laughs> dude it it's looks like, like a Halloween decoration <laughs> it's like those bogus ass videos that they came out with a couple years ago from the Navy it's like this you, you don't you ass. think those are bullshit they're real but it's like there's so much more shit that's been out there that's way better right. That why aren't we seeing that man? Like we know that's real. The one that wasn't pushed enough was the Vegas one. Was it Vegas, California, where the fucking they're like it's in the fucking backyard? And oh yeah, the and, Vegas. And, yeah. And, and subsequently, the cop was like, "Hold, hold on a second. What was that? Did yeah. you just see that? You know, on the body cam and it fucking see it fall out." And he's like, "The only reason I'm responding to this is because I was on another call and I seen that." Yeah. And they're like, "It was in the fucking backyard." And there's yeah. a video where they you can see it. Really? Where there's there's a, a home video from them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before the cops came, when they're still looking in the backyard, and yeah. you can see like a nine foot shadow of something hiding behind a car. Ooh. Yeah, I can... remember the one saying, "I got, I got to get my gun." Yeah, like, I need to get my shit. Yeah, something was... the fuck is back there. But that also could be fake, because right. that's the thing that we're doing. We're planting fake aliens to fucking to fuck with people. They've been doing that for a long time. They they make them in uh, Pine Gap 
in uh, Australia. It's an underground. It's like the Area 51 of Australia. Really? And that's where they make the, the biological. It's biological on the outside, so it, it looks like. Yeah. But it's robotic. And the thing that you were, that you got involved in just by chance, without saying too much, the thing that with the fucking made with biologics or whatever the fuck was on those tags from that place. Oh yeah, I looked that up, and that's like, that's like human gene yeah. splicing. Yeah, some shit. It said I know it right you on, it up. right on the sign. It said it. What the fuck yeah, is going on? Yeah, <laughs> human, human, and dude. But I've known that's been going on at that place for a long time. Like really? That, like I knew. Oh, that's that not used, like a big. I knew somebody that used to do maintenance there, and uh, he told me like certain floors where they keep like monkeys in cages and shit, where they do all sorts of wild. I knew a guy that worked there. He died. He yeah. fucking had a heart attack and hit a tree. Um, oh. Hmm. Coincidentally, um, but he said he Talk was in much. the rat department okay. where they had where he all he did was clean rat cages yeah. like on a nightly basis, thousands of them. Yeah. At that, so I was like, holy shit. Yeah, dude. Which is, but what the fuck? What's the point of that? Do you know? Like, what is the uh, the cross? What's the benefit? What are they trying to achieve? Or is it for science? For those purposes, to see what we can use from them, maybe if like, if we find out that you can, you know, use mouse genetics in a human and right, survive right, right. with, you know, save an organ or something. Right, right. You right. know, we did just find out that a person was able to successfully live with a a pig kidney. Right, for, right. You know, a certain amount of time. So it, does, it might not necessarily be nefarious, but it's, it's weird. But it also could be nefarious as well. Humans are weird because nobody, someone pays for all this shit. Yeah, and there's a reason why people are paying for this shit. Mm-hmm. And I do believe that we would have a cure for cancer if we really wanted it. Oh, there's totally. There's a cure for everything. There's a cure I for everything. You know, but they got to look at the bottom line. If it's not really turning over a big of a profit, then okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's oh look, we we got AIDS. We can't even fucking die from it no more. Oh, the medical industry, man. This is a crazy one, isn't it? Yeah. That's a big bloodthirsty. I'm starting to think, and this is this is a, a you know weird topic that'll get me canceled, but <laughs> I, you know, again, I don't care anymore. I'm starting to wonder if that's part of the push behind all the LGBTQ stuff. Is is, is the the um, Hormone drugs from the mm. big pharmaceutical company trying yeah. to push since, you know, if we're getting rid of different things that they can't sell anymore, right. what's the new drug we can start pushing? Right. Hormone therapy. Let's start encouraging that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was talking about, I don't even remember who, about pushing it to fucking 12-year-olds. Yeah. Oh, if your kid says he's fucking this or that, which when you're when you're 18 or whatever, to you know, yeah. we'll, we'll do whatever. But, right. When you're but, a kid. dude, don't start, like, wh- whatever you want to believe, but I wouldn't start changing... Um, the you're changing your fucking right your your person yeah. and just until you figure it out, dude. I I remember when I was twelve. Yeah, I used to think a lot of shit, dude. <laughs> you know what? Here's my favorite example to that. Is and I tell people, I got tons of tattoos. Mm-hmm. I love my fucking tattoos. I wanted them all through my childhood and teenage years. And I remember like asking like crazy when I was in my early teens, mm. can I get like, can I go to that one guy that'll do it if you slide him a couple hundred bucks? Uh-huh. You know, my mom wasn't about it. No, no you got to wait till you're 18, wait yeah. till you're 18. So as soon as I was 18, I started getting tattoos. By the time I was 22, I'd covered my first tattoo. Right. I'm 40 now. I've covered three of my first three <laughs> tattoos. So it's like even then at 18, after planning it for fucking years, I still didn't know what I wanted because then I wanted to change my mind years later. Right. All this shit, I thought this was all great ideas. Right. All this shit, I thought was great. Yeah. And I'm not mad at it, but I look at it and go, damn, man. Could have been different. Could have definitely spent a little more time, a little more money. Yeah. <laughs> you know, different. fucking done this a little different. Now I'm fucking 37. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck, well, at least I still got my back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I still got that. I could fucking, I could make up. But then now I'm like, dude, I got. I ah, got you got it. tons of canvas, man. I do. You know, I I never went. I, I'm. I'm here to hear. Yeah. It's like, you know, you see me. I'm yeah. fucking ridiculous. But it's all this crazy it's just fucking shit with like, you know, it wasn't very expensive and right. it shows. Yeah. The shit that was expensive fucking is the only shit that ever really like hung in there. Yeah. And everything else kind of like, bleh. You're like your shit looks crazy. That's fucking dope. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. A lot of time. That's like what I envisioned that all of this was going to be. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, shit. Well, it's mm-hmm. there. It is there now, so, but uh, yeah, yeah, I could, I definitely could see that that 
you got to push something. Something's something's <clears throat> got to get pushed, and they're not ready for that cancer yet. Yeah, no. They're gonna, because that shit's like fucking a trillion dollar industry or something yeah. crazy. Are you cold? No. All right, cool. I'm comfortable. I'm, I'm trying to regulate. I'm no, trying to make I'm sure good, you're man. good. But yeah, yeah, dude. I think that's a. But yeah, no, I'm I'm very vocally against that whole concept of pushing that shit on kids. And Big I have, time. and I you know, I'm getting people unfriending me on Facebook and shit. I don't give a fuck. Like Really? Yeah, and it's like there's certain limits that I'm like, you know, there's certain lines that I won't cross. But it's like at that point, if that's what you're encouraging and that's what you stand behind, then I don't care if I lose you. Right. Like you're you're not a valuable to me if if that's your opinion. You're kind of fucked up. Right. Like you're thinking this is okay. You're grooming people. You're oh, fucking yeah. up your kids. Not to mention the one thing, you know, and this is, you know, when they have like drag shows and kindergartens and shit, you know, what people aren't taking into consideration is sure, I'm sure you're seeing all good intentions and, and happy things and rainbows and sunshine. Right. What about all the fucking undercover predators right. that are using this as their window to get in with your fucking kids, man? As you can That's see. That's a big demographic of people, and you're not questioning shit. You're like, he puts on a dress and he puts on lipstick, so he's good. We he's love him. He's a freedom him. fighter. Yeah, he's our, he's on our side. Nah, dude, he's he knew how to infiltrate you, bro. Like right. he's, he's And it's happened. You. I mean, dude, it is how, happening. How many fucking... I, <laughs> I, I love the educators, yeah. but how many educators have been fucking predators? Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. You know how many fucking teachers I know that are... Bat shit fucking crazy drug addicts? Really? Oh my god. <laughs> so many. So my dad and and this is a crazy multi generational story. My dad had this teacher. Um he's still on the fucking on the on the list. Ooh. Uh, Damn. Mr. Uh L Lorenz. Whatever the fuck he and he said, my dad always thought he's like, this dude was creepy. He oh. said, and he would come up behind me, put his arms around me, and say Christian, you know you're not supposed to be doing that. No. And he always was like, this is weird. He had ducks and shit and geese and a Bricklin. You know what a Bricklin, a car? It's like kind of like a kit car. They look crazy. Gall wing doors in the okay. 80s. You know? yeah, so yeah. He used to have the kids come over and look at the ducks and the Bricklins oh, and shit. Oh, that's a total. So then when Jimmy, Jimmy fucking, Jimmy the ghost, Jimmy Floor Jimmy, he went to Gates as well. You know, he's my age. That dude still fucking taught there. He got booked while Jimmy was in fucking school for diddling fucking children. I and, that. and Jimmy had to get questioned by the uh, probably the FBI, I think. I yeah. think he said it was the fucking FBI or something. And they said, did this guy ever fucking do anything? Because it was all the boys. Right. And he said, no, and he never did nothing to me. But but the, the, it was always rumored that he was a fucking weirdo. And sure enough, like he got booked. He's on the list. He it confessed and admitted to it. Still lives in the same house. Yeah. But uh, so so he found the spot like fucking John Wayne Gacy. Yep. You know, that's who he employed. Yeah. You know, predators, they know they know what they're fucking doing. They know where to go. Because you can't just go. You can't go to Walmart and get yourself a fucking chat. Well, maybe, maybe you can. You know, and nobody wants to. And it's such a, a tough gig to get into. It's a low paying job. Right. They get their asses kicked on a daily basis by kids. So nobody wants to be teachers anymore. No. So there's more of a window now for they're desperate where they take anybody. Right. And and it's men and women as well. It is. It's men and women. But I mean, it doesn't have the same stigma for sure. No. Because I know back in the day, if you knew someone that was fucking a teacher, you'd be like, yo. I would oh. still say that, man. <laughs> right? I still see those articles and they show the teacher and she's always hot. It's always a hot teacher. <laughs> he said, he said, what the fuck? Yeah, that didn't happen to me, man. I had a couple of hot teachers, though, that like I would have if the opportunity were there. But I never had any. They were all fucking mean and textbook-like teachers. And it was just... And and, and, and I, don't, I don't even remember like those type of discussions didn't seem as prevalent then of, yeah. of that, that type of relationship. You know, like my, my gym teacher for one year was a woman and she could have been a dude yeah. for all I know because she was She's like, she was like a fucking linebacker. Yeah. And so, you know, like I, I and that only seems, but again, like you said, like, like predators and not saying she was not a predator. No. I don't think, <laughs> but, but they, <laughs> I don't fucking know. I also don't know, but, um. They they know they see they know how these things work mm -hmm. and they know like I said you couldn't go you can't go and buy a child at Walmart so what's the next best thing where the fuck do you get children well yeah. school a Schools. fucking after school program unfortunately a church program you know it's like it's, it, there's fucking networks of this shit like this and uh, and that's why I think the whole Jeffrey Epstein I don't I don't really know I think that was deeper than everyone is given that credit for oh so much because I don't know if I told you this did you 
did you watch the Netflix thing of his or no? Uh, I started to, and then I didn't really want to finish it. It was kind of fucked up. I, I had the most unpopular opinion, and I think we talked about this before, where every single person, and it might just be the people that they interviewed, every single woman, they all said the same thing. They said, he said this, he offered me this, I agreed, but he took advantage of me. And I'm like, to me... What, and this was just that, just based on that, with no other research, just going by... And they were villainizing this dude, which yeah. you, it sounds like he fucking was a bad guy. Yeah. But they, the job they did of villainizing him had all these women saying, well, he said he would pay for my college and gave me an art studio, and but then he, he, he touched me. He did this, he did that. Mm-hmm. They agreed to all this shit. Yeah. They all took money. They Every single person, oh, well, he would pay me a few hundred dollars. And that was a lot to me as a kid. Eh, yes. Is it wrong? Yes. Was it wrong? Yes. But did they were they willing participants right then and there? Yes. Yeah. I think so. I think if you were going to villainize them, you should have at least lied a little bit and said yeah. like he was snatching bitches off the street, drugging them. And which, fucking... which is the impression that I always got. Like I still thought that that was what was happening. Like, was... But this is, again, this is a tailored fucking show yeah. on Netflix that right. I'm watching. But just from that, it was supposed to be villainizing. And I was yeah. like, this sounds like some gold digger shit. Yeah. And... But I'm not, I don't fucking know. Who the fuck really knows? There could have yeah. been little children and babies at the whole shit. I don't fucking know. But just that, I was like, man, you gotta do better than that. Yeah. You gotta do better than that. Because I, I know a fucking gold digger. They start real young. Oh, he's a, you're 14, but he's got a car. Ooh. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, that fucking guy's got a car. You know what I mean? So it's not out of the realm. But I'm sure you know more about fucking Big Jeff than uh, oh. that fucking weirdo painting with George Bush. Oh, yeah. The, that's some weird shit. Same thing with the Bill Clinton painting. There's a Bill Clinton one. There's a Bill Clinton painting where he's... Laying back on a couch wearing the blue Lewinsky dress. He's Get got, the fuck he's got high heel shoes on. You're kidding. Mm-mm. Damn. Yep. Which he's got to, I mean, that says it all, man, because these are people that were at this place. These were right. friends of his. Right. So he was in that circle. Right. So, like, when he's got George Bush sitting on the floor with two fucking Jenga towers and paper it's airplanes, looking like fucking you know Alfred what that's e. saying. Newman. Right. Oh, yeah. That's definitely. That's, that's just painting it all right there. Now, do you think. Uh, so with that being said and that being we'll say exhibit a yeah was epstein with them or was he the blackmailer that he was portrayed to be getting shit on those people holding it as leverage to his advantage both 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 so you think he was also in these same clubs i think he was in but he was probably trying to protect his own ass and keeping information i think is why they killed him bill gates i think was one of the biggest culprits He's a fucking weird dude. He's, He's a done some creep, weird shit. Man. Have you ever seen the interviews with him where they talk about Epstein? No. Nah. It's like some of the more recent ones because it's like he obviously doesn't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's like, he he's an asshole. But like he gets very jumpy. He gets very like twitchy in his seat. And he'll just keep, nope, nothing else to talk about there. I already said nothing to talk about. Thank you. No, move along. Nothing to talk about. And you would think that in person, his position, even if you were just going to say a line of shit. Yeah. You know, you would want to say something. His wife left him because of it. Really? His wife left because of his relationship with Epstein. No kidding. That's public knowledge. That she left because of that shit. So you know there was some fucked up shit. Oh, Yo, yeah. Something was fucking going on there. Yeah. And it wasn't Jamie Foxx on the plane? And then all of a sudden his fucking brain melted down? Uh, wasn't he on the weird. list? He's. I don't know if he was on the list, but I know he's... I, I thought, think he's what they think is one of the new clones. I. Because th- he, looks, he looks weird now. Does he look he, weird? Well, because he disappeared. And they said he was in the hospital and he had something. He was almost died. He was in yeah. you know, life support. And then he just resurfaced and it doesn't look like the same Jamie Foxx. Like right. People are saying it doesn't look like him. Well, they said he was at like some fucking like a fast food restaurant talking shit. Yeah. And he's like, oh. And someone's like, oh, it's good to meet you. And he's like, yeah, you know, my brain. And they're like, what? Yeah. I mean, kind of a weird thing to just bring up when you're at McDonald's. <laughs> I don't know. A, I don't know, man. I'm seeing more... Uh, see these celebrities like selling their souls and shit i keep seeing more and more about that yeah more and more about these celebrities like making agreements to sell their soul and then they become famous Uh, who the fuck was it was it bob dylan where he said he said what what, how i can't remember the verbatim but he's like i made a deal with him and they said you made a deal with who bob and he said you know who yeah 
You know, and then and that was like a whole bunch of people say it. Carrie, Katy Perry said it. A whole bunch of people have have made that quote about making the deal, right? And it's like, Nori said it on his podcast. Yeah, he said there's a there's there's a time when you you I, I don't know if you say if there's two doors or there's one door and you either either go in this door or that door or or it's one door and you either go in or you don't. Yeah, and he said, and I didn't. And they said, well, what do you think happened? He said. Well, that was the last time I went platinum, I'll tell you that. And they were like, damn. You know, uh, Ice Cube, he's he's not in that. He's he's very vocal about not being part of the club. He's who, very against all of this Who the bullshit. fuck was it? Terry? Was it Terry Crews? Terry or no, Cruz. no, uh, uh, Debo. Tiny L- Lister? Yeah. Lister? He said, I'm not into that shit. You want to find someone else to go put on a he's fucking dead, dress? He? Yeah, he died. Yeah. Coincidentally, yeah, no, because he was because he, he wasn't into the gay stuff. Yeah, he said, "I'm not put you find somebody else to." He said, "Find another black guy to put on a fucking dress." They did that. They're doing that with a lot of. He wasn't. They're it. pushing that on a lot of. They just did that with the baby too, because the baby got in all sorts of trouble for making some homophobic and yeah. trans comments. Yeah, and then there was some some videos that recently surfaced of him at some event with elites and they're like he's all hugged up with these dudes and some really weird looking no and everybody's shit. like what the fuck did they do to the baby did they get to the baby like he looks like the way he's hugging these guys it's like dude it's, it's like suspicious as yeah they, as the kids would say right Sus. yeah it's like bro what the fuck like <laughs> no shit and it's like, that's I, that quick, i didn't hear that's anything a quick about. spin around yeah oh yeah because he was like Oh y'all sucking dick in the parking lot. Yeah. Hope you get AIDS. <laughs> right. No, I was like, whoa. No, you got some white dude hugging up on him, like super close from right behind him. Like no real, shit. It's like that's a weird looking. Oh, this is a weird chain of events. Yeah, it's a weird chain of events. Yeah, yeah there is a fucking dude. But uh, but I have a whole theory behind all that too. About Hollywood or uh, like that? the whole the whole push. What do you got? Well, what it's, do you got? Well, aside from where I said big pharma. Yes. Yes. Uh, depopulation. Oh yeah, 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 that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the plan, right? Is, is to call, is to convince, and they've even said it. The the world leaders, it, there at least five different people. Kamala Harris has said it. Bill Gates has said it. Multiple other people in the World Economic Forum have said the goal is to reduce population yep. to what it was five hundred years ago. And the best way to do that is to quote unquote halt a generation or two. Mm-hmm. So if we're not going to get into genocide and actually killing people. What's the best way to halt a generation or two is to convince the whole next two generations to be gay and transgender. You convince the people that are a little extra mentally ill to go transgender and castrate themselves. And now they're not having kids anymore. Right. It's a Nazi organization running things. They're basically filtering out and now, the future. Now think about this. Now compound, skip a generation or two, and then throw some biological genocide in there. Yes. And to just you know, and that's still, as, a, and that's, as a force multiplier, and that's still a thing with like the COVID shots right, and the COVID right. and all that. That's that's and added to it, but it's it, all I part made a of mistake. I think getting that fucking shit. I'm having problems. Are you really? Yeah. Wow, shit. Well, it, at fucking dialysis, the machine keeps clotting up. I keep clotting up. I got they got to tap me out like 20 minutes early each time because too many blood clots are going through the machine. No fucking, and that's not normal, that's right? Not normal because they do it. All I mean, the, it's, time. the machine is designed to catch blood clots if it happens, yeah, but yeah. It, it shouldn't have happened. Shouldn't happen that much. And, they, and obviously, they are pretty familiar with yeah. this process, and they're like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, what's up with this? No yeah. shit. Well, dude, there's a lot of fucking shit. LeBron James, fucking His son, kid, fucking yeah. he's like all these. Everybody's you know, having problems. It, it is they, a strange they, thing. It's like you know, half the sources will admit that this is a known issue, right? And the other half is like, "Nope, everything's good. Keep taking them." I'm not. I'm not getting anymore. Oh, I'm not. Although I worry that they might make me if i if i get to fucking cont- qualify uh, cock fucking because something. everything else has to be i know they injected me the other day with a hepatitis vaccine really yeah just to make sure oh you i'm sure you got dental work and all that kind yeah, of shit yeah. they got it. there's a whole list there's of a whole shit, list right? everything's already done i'm just you know at the yeah. last stage now but no shit they just they said oh just while you're here boop, boop. yeah two of them get the fuck because they out did of here. one like two weeks three weeks ago i guess and then they did blood work and they're like yeah it didn't take so we gotta do it again well now you can share needles yeah <laughs> what the fuck is that about right this is crazy yeah so yeah that's the thing but yeah, yeah so deep so they're deep. they're they're definitely trying to, to kill us down and not make our lives good for a while and, and think about it i know you because i remember this and i'm sure you i know you remember this when we were in elementary school what the population mm-hmm. was two and a half three billion four maybe. maybe i remember it not being like i remember going holy shit that's not a lot yeah and now it's pushing seven so 500 years ago 
what is that? A couple hundred million people? Yeah, it's gonna be a little. That, that was the the Georgia Guidestones. The, the yeah, guy, yeah, yeah. They had that figure on there too. That was part of part of that. Because five hundred years was that was was the plague like five hundred years ago? And I remember that wiped out you know like fucking a percentage of the yeah. world. So that would give you an idea. Like I'm sure it says this is how many people were estimated on the planet 500 fucking years ago. So it's got to be drastically lower than yeah. what we are, right? I would yeah. think. Oh, significantly. It has to be. And they all say it's for global warming. But the, that whole logic is ridiculous to me. Like, particularly yeah. like the, the the animal part, like the cows. They're saying global warming yeah, is from cows methane farting. gas. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. No, no, that, that's the same people telling me that Lucky Charms is more healthy for me than a steak. Really? That's a statistic that they recently came out with. That nah. fucking box manufactured cereal nah. is more healthy for you than natural food. Nah. Scam call? <laughs> no, nah, I don't know what that was. <laughs> no, total bullshit. Yeah. Total horseshit. It's all, it's all Dude, of... you could take a piece of beef that's not sick and eat it raw and yeah. be good. It won't taste great, I'm sure. Right. But it's as long as the animal itself is healthy, you can fucking eat that shit. You're fine. You're fine. And that's not some liver king shit. That's just fucking what it is. Yeah. I mean, everything is everything's fake now, man. Oh, I, I don't everything even want to know. Everything is so... No, the food, the people... It's it's a tough world to live in. It is, and 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 not only is everything fake, but the portions are getting smaller. Portions are getting smaller <laughs> and more expensive. Remember, a fucking Snickers bar was the truth. Yeah, and it's all bullshit anyway. Yeah, but now that's just like this little ass shit. Yep. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's fake. It's all fucking manufactured shit. Why why the fuck can't it be plentiful? Mm-hmm. If I'm if you're gonna if I'm gonna be eating bullshit and poisoning me, at least fucking make sure I get a fucking fat bag. No, nope. dude, I fucking. Psh- Last time I saw you, I was balls deep in the diet, I think. Yeah. And I was 155 pounds, 157. I'm fucking 180 now. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It doesn't fucking take long. No. And and, and I go from eating two fucking burgers, two burger patties with cheese and, and peppers every single day. Yeah. As my meals, meat and cheese. And I fucking... And then I come back to eating fuck shit. It, it's so... I, uh... I lost about 30 pounds last year, this past year, from November until July. Yeah. And since July, I've gained eight pounds, and I feel fucking fat. Right. Like, like Dude, I you've wanna, lost a lot of weight I want to kill that you, eight right? pounds back. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, oh, I've lost probably 100 pounds at least since No then. shit? Is that that much? Since then. Oh, my God, yeah. Since I first met you. But you know how it is. Like, when you see people, like, I... Yeah, because I... Like... Yeah, from, I would say, because that was, like, 2015... Yeah, yeah, right around there. Yeah, yeah I lost definitely. Over a hundred pounds since then. No shit. Yeah. Fucking a. Yeah. No. Do you is, do you feel oh, different? I, I do. Yeah. A noticeable difference. Noticeable. Yeah. I know when I'm I, when I'm in the diet, going like this. Yeah. Is, is a lot easier then than it is now because I got like a fucking spare tire. Oh my here. god! Look at you, dude. Wow, you got a little man titty too. I do. I got fucking. <gasps> this is no fucking. That's great. And this, this, uh, 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 do you shave? No, I'm, you just don't have hair. No, nah, look at look at like the back of my legs and shit. Damn, dude. Look at, this is fucking crazy. Look at this is not. This is. You're just, like a swimmer. Isn't that weird? That's weird. It's fucking. So I get like hair like right here, <laughs> and that's it. I mean, I don't have a ton on my legs. Yeah, you really don't either. My chest is all. Oh, I got nothing. This oh, is yeah. this is. That's all there is right there. Oh, no. That's I gotta, it. I got to trim my shit. My nuts and shit, everything's there. I got hair there, yeah. but just not on my, my back, nothing. I oh, get I no got fucking hair. Back, shoulder. I can't grow a beard. Oh, I, yeah. You, yeah. I wish. I can't. I can't even do it. I'm waiting for the fucking, It's white. I'm waiting for the gray. You, you want gray? I, I've wanted it since. When did Dust Till Dawn with George Clooney come out? <laughs> he had the fucking pep, yeah. salt and pepper. Yeah. Dude, I was like. Bring it on. I was bitch. salt and pepper at 19, man. Lucky. I fucking, I was <coughs> trying to find. Stress. They, they could, I, at the time, I was like, I want to dye my hair. And, and this, I mean, they dyed hair and shit, but all the crazy shit wasn't around. And yeah. they're like, we don't, I fucking can't remember where it was. They're like, we don't have gray dye. We have dye to make it not gray. And I was like, no, I want like, like the highlights, but I want it gray. They're like, well, get fucking blonde highlights. It's kind of the same thing. I'm like, you don't understand. Yeah. So I'm I'm getting there. Like here, I get a it comes out. That's fantastic. So I'm ready. I'm fucking ready, man. I had I had somebody recently ask me. They're like, "What was your natural hair color?" And I was like, "Man, damn, is it that bad?" <laughs> damn. 
But your hair looks good. You got like a full. Yeah, look I mean, it's, I just got it all cut off. But yeah, it's all. You don't. You don't look. You don't got this. Eh. Nah, man. Yeah, look at you. See, my great. shit is fucked up. My hairline is pushed back. Yeah, but it doesn't look thin though. Oh, it is. Yeah. Even in my, I, I just got get, started getting my hair cut again by a barber yeah. after for like the first time in five years. I just cut it myself. Word. And I went back. I felt like I was cheating. On yeah, my last barber. time I saw you, you cut your own hair. Oh yeah, yeah, that was crazy, right? But then I had to go. I had to go. Uh, oh, I had a fucking rash of funerals. Oh, good. So I had to like, you know, I wanted you know, to look, look good. I didn't want to have the Kyle fucking haircut. Yeah. So um, and and I go, oh, I'm worried. You know, my hairline's pushing back. And he goes. Yeah, it's getting a little thin. And I was like, bitch, oh. no the fuck it ain't. Shut yeah. up. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. I know it is. But uh hey man, that's fucking but I want the I want the fucking gray before I lose it all. Yeah. Well you got gray down. There's gray dye now. Oh yeah, I could no, go now and now you can do it. Now I can go and get it. But but then but now I'm like almost there. I'm like right there. There's I got like four that come uh, in the front. How disappointing is that gonna be if it falls out before if it fucking, Oh, I'll be so upset. <laughs> I'll be real upset. You're not going to get a letter in advance to let you know. <laughs> like You're going to wake up one day and you're going to be like, here, the fuck, le- I should have dyed my here. hair. The yeah. letter's arrived. No, you're right. Damn, I might should. No, because you know I'm so fucking cheap. If someone could do it for free for me, you know, if you you're out there. You can yourself? Probably not. You know how bad that would look? I would fuck that shit up. i fuck everything up. <laughs> it would be. Maybe if I, maybe if I go with a full gray kit, but then... Do it how I normally do everything, and it'll be fucked up. But it'll be salt and pepper because it don't, won't be it won't fully take. Yeah, I think I have to. Um, I think I'd have to blonde it and then gray it. Cause I don't know if you can like dye it down. I feel, or... I feel like Days can be able to do that for us. Yeah, I bet you he knows. He, he I probably, bet you he knows the motherfucker. He probably knows. He's like, oh yeah, here, have a seat. He's probably <laughs> dated some hairdressers or something. Dude, he was bumping some. Dope. He he fucking is killing that music shit. Is he? Uh, yeah. I, Oh, I, I don't see it. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Never mind. Scratch that. He ain't killing the music shit. I don't know nothing about the music shit. <laughs> because there's like things about the music shit that like says things about. Oh, okay. So never mind. Yeah. He ain't making no music. Definitely not any heavy metal music. No. But but I would lead someone to believe that it may be. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I almost blew the fucking roof off of that shit because I forgot the one is not supposed to be the other. Whoops. <laughs> hey man, all these alter egos are fucking. You know, it's hard to keep up with Clark Kent and Superman. And oh shit. come on, you know that. Oh I know. I always said back in the day, I was like, I was like, why do we always call each other all these names? I said we should just call each other by our first names. I said because you know Kyle, yeah, this one, that one. Who the fuck knows? You're just. Kyle, Chris, Joe, fucking knows. But then we got all these letters and names and all this shit. I'm like, fucking gives a shit. Some people do, some people don't. I I know you. You know we met some people that don't. They know. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like one or two. I told you the story about stop. What about him? fucking? So. At I, your mom's. At, at my grandma's. Yeah. Right? yeah. I said, yeah. What do I tell my grandma? And he's like, this. <laughs> Just That's so this. funny because I thought about that story on my way out here. <laughs> It was funny as shit. Yeah. He said, tell her this. I'm like, really? It's my grandma, dog. And he's like, all right, it's this. <laughs> it's my grandma, dog. Yep. <laughs> it was funny as shit, though. Shout out fucking stop, man. I haven't seen him in so long. Shit, I haven't seen him since fucking the one show. Maybe not even the last art show, but probably the one before that one. I saw, last time I saw stop was in 2020 when i did the second mf doom wall at elsa's studio oh he, he stopped in there because he, oh, he blasted he was doing a wall he was doing shit. a piece there too yeah, so we got yeah, to catch yeah. up a little bit he's a fucking nice dude he's super man. cool he's a nice ass dude, dude. Yeah. and he don't fuck around either no and i've heard some things about him him not fucking around yeah yep yeah, me too That's... he was like the first one that brought me in <clears throat> into the fold yeah and he met me that. and fucking was like and I was like, you yeah. know, I was like, oh my god! <laughs> and then here we are, boom, 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 boom. Right. And we're sitting there, and then so we have like a, we have like this bond that's that's like fucking. We've never hung out for at length. That's who you gotta get on the show. I would love to. You gotta- Dude, I got I got a whole list of fucking people that I really want to get on this shit. Yeah, I do, I do. Like who? I, like, 
non. I want to be like Lex, man. <laughs> yeah. Like Lex Friedman. I yeah. want to have this, that, a variety. Just have everybody. Yeah. I be- love it. Because I, I think I'm easy to talk to. So it doesn't matter like what you're into. We can figure it out. Something to talk to. Yeah. You know, or something to talk about. I want to get some of the fucking growers that I know and talk about. I was about just going to say, you get some weed people. Yeah, I want to talk about some of that because, you know, That's a good I don't partake anymore, but it's a fucking real, real interesting yeah. from both sides. I want to know, I want to talk with someone who's got all the paperwork and I want to talk to someone who fucking right. wants to wear a mask in here. Yep. <laughs> Hell yeah. But, you know, so there's all kinds of fucking people I want to talk to. But then, then you run into the, like, all right, well, this is where I live at. Yeah. <laughs> How far do I go? You know. How far do I go? But I'm. <laughs> the Dude, fuck? Th- this is this is a crazy place. I know it's a, you know you know what I noticed on my way over here. There's, there's a lot of kids with mustaches on bicycles. Dude, this is <laughs> yo real shit. You know what's what's nice about this neighborhood and what I've learned is that first I was like fuck I made a mistake right. Okay. But then as I started like checking the fucking temperature of the people around here, I was like. Everyone wants to be fucking hood. And yeah. you and I both have grown up in the fucking ghetto. We yeah. lived in the fucking hood. Real hood. We know, we can see that shit. Yeah. And we can also see when someone really wants to be that. Yeah. And I can like point that out. And this is like that. So it's got the tight, it looks like any block in Rochester. We're right. standing out here, you know, just the way the houses are, yeah. the streets are, big fucking old style houses, apartments. But the, but no, dude, no one's getting down to it. Yeah. Like, you're not going to come down and fucking, I'm not worried about shit like that. And I know it's something I could personally, oh, okay, they're laughing. Yeah, it sounds good. All right. But I could personally de-escalate a lot of shit, and that's not on no tough guy shit, just on things that I've seen. Yeah. Like, you could tell there will be some intimidation. Yeah. And then I'll be, oh, motherfucker, this is not, the, this ain't the place. And then we would figure it out that, oh, all right, that doesn't work on you. Because there's all this is some country ass shit, but then it's like city shit. Yeah. But there's and you know what they got out here that that I think is just getting into the city a little bit. What's that? But I think it's more prevalent here is meth. Is it happening? Big time here. Really? All motherfuckers get busted with meth here all the fucking time. No shit. And How I, exciting! I never seen it in a city. No. Never in my life. I I haven't heard about meth since last time when I was out visiting California, and it was like a West Coast thing. <laughs> oh, that's a big West Coast. But that, you didn't hear about shit about that out here. Yeah, and um, and it, here it's like fucking people get busted daily with meth. Which is, yeah, it's very, and it, we're not that far, we're fucking 490s right there. We're yeah. not like, you know, no. it's not some interstate fucking craziness. I hear about that actually, you know, I think about out in the um, sodas. Really? Yeah, out on the other side. It seems like these are kind of like these kind of towns. smaller communities. People small just towns. must be need to fucking be zinged out. Shit, we were, who the fuck was I just talking to about, uh, oh, with Dick. We yeah. were talking about like drugs and shit, and, and he's fucking... He had his own struggles and, and beat him and shit, and he's yeah. off the fucking pills and all that shit. And we were talking about, like, even when you and I were kids, you could, like, the worst part about doing some drugs is you might end up getting hooked on it. Yeah. You might end up getting addicted to fucking heroin. You might end up having a coke problem. Now the worst part is you could fucking just be dead. Yeah. And that's, like, a whole different fucking ball game, really, when, when experimenting, the worst thing, oh, you're going to get hooked, you're going to end up being a heroin addict. Nah, now you fucking can just end up dead. Which I think is a motivating factor for a lot of people. Yeah, I yeah. Th- I think I think a lot of the heroin overdoses are, are just easy suicides. Just say fuck it. Because, you know, a lot of these are people that weren't on drugs their whole life. Right. It's kind of a newer thing, and it's like, you know, the world's a fucked up place, and suicide rates are up, and right. people are down. And drug use is up, and everybody's taking something. Everybody, everybody wants to feel good with something. As I'm sitting here rolling my fourth fucking blunt, since we're sitting here. <laughs> but yeah, you ain't talk. playing. But real talk, though. Like I, I got some weed in the house too. If you, if you, I'm sure that ain't all you got. You oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure I'm, that ain't. What do you got weed in the house for? Fucking Polly. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I fucking stacked up a fucking... I used to buy an ounce from the place. That's right, yeah. And then I would give it to him, and then he would call me two days later and be like, I'm out. So then I had to start, like, bagging it up I'm on my own too. and giving them... No, man, they were doing all these... Him and Gordy at the fucking house, all they did was sit around and smoke weed all day. Two motherfuckers with nothing to do will smoke all the weed. <laughs> that's easy to do, though. That's, it is easy to do. I do that at the shop, because we can, we can smoke at the shop. Oh, so really? it's like we just work constantly chaining fucking blunts and i could i well i fucking went in rome why yeah. the fuck wouldn't you right but this motherfucker don't 
I'm buying it. <laughs> Come on. So I got some left over from the last time. That's funny. But it's from the shop. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with what I got. He said, I'm straight. I'm good. And I think I got a Dutch. <laughs> oh, man. So I, I can really, still roll like a motherfucker, though. This shit don't really get me snowed anymore. Nah. I mean, like, like I said, it's my fourth plot, and I'm just... Do you got the whole thing? Like, the thing you brought last time? That shit was crazy. What, did I bring a dab rig? Yeah, I bring the whole shit. <laughs> oh, I did bring the dab rig. I was like, oh, shit, can I watch? <laughs> yeah, I haven't uh, I haven't done a dab in a long time. I, I broke my pipe. Oh, and, that one uh, that I saw? Yeah, I broke my pipe, and that's one of those things where they're kind of expensive. And Fuck, it's just, yeah, they are. I just didn't really get around to picking up a new one yet. They're hundreds of dollars, right? They can be. I mean, I've gotten some. I, I've got a little one that was like 20, 30 bucks, which isn't bad. I shouldn't complain. Right. But it's just, it's a, you know, getting to the place and fucking. I really should, though, because I got tons of butane still. Are they going to do glassware there and all that kind of shit? We still, we had some pipes. A little bit. We had a couple from a local a local place, but I don't even know. There's there's so much unknown. So much to figure out. Yeah. I remember when I went and I was like, all right, all right. I was like, what do you got? Wraps or what? And he goes, no, we don't got no fucking tobacco license. I was like, <laughs> no, that's <laughs> it true. Me, it made me laugh. I was like, <laughs> that was the catch, man. No, no tobacco license. I got no fucking tobacco license. We got a hemp license, so we'll occasionally have like little hemp wraps now. Oh, really? Yeah. No shit. Hemp, I didn't even realize that that was such a big thing. That it, And it looks like fucking weed, but it's like not. Like when they grow it, it's like yeah. you could smoke fucking the whole field and won't get you high, but it. It is the shit. Is that true or is that bullshit? Yeah, I don't know how that works. I, I don't ask me that much because I don't know. I haven't figured out the difference. I right. mean, I've seen seeds that say they're CBD plants. Mm -hmm. I don't have any reason to grow one. Like I, if, <laughs> Right. If it's, if it's not real weed, I haven't, I'm not interested. That's true. I agree. But I have had some CBD products that are effective. Like I've had, I've had droplets. Like I've got a 7,500 milligram tincture bottle at home yeah yeah and i'll put a couple droplets under my tongue sometimes and i'll feel that a little no bit shit. but that's pretty potent that's that's a lot of milligrams that is a lot of milligrams yeah. that's a fucking lot of milligrams. that's not a five milligram gummy that's a you know what is a what is a gummy that'll knock you out like like that'll make you fucking fucked up is that, for weed yeah is that 500 is that 100 is that uh, i don't really know i'm not i i miss see, it's different for everybody because edibles hit everybody differently right like i have i have some friends i got one friend she can eat every edible that you can put in front of her and nothing will happen no shit just does not affect which a lot of people are like that a lot of people something about their digestive system does not break it, down it fucking it just passes it right through nothing happens no shit uh with me gummies don't really hit me i have eaten 1500 milligrams of gummies and felt relatively normal a little high but not like not I like should. what you felt it. but i've also had 150 milligram chocolate bar that fucking knocked me on my ass no shit so like real food like brownies and chocolates that that hits me mm. but gummies don't as much so like we get a lot of cookies and baked goods at the shop yeah that shit works does it does um is there science to like like you can say like this is 150 milligrams or is it rough? It's kind of rough. I think there's there probably is and some people are probably figuring it out. I'm personally not sure. Like I know like a lot of the edibles that, that we use, the it's all keef infused, so I'm not sure if that oh, measurement okay. is is 150 milligrams of keef, right? Or if, keef is hardcore, right? That's like fucking, isn't that the? That's like the the crystally powder that comes off, yeah, like at the the bottom of your grinder and shit, right? It's right. All over the, they got a trap sometimes, don't yeah. They, if you want it, yeah. I always, I always was under the impression that that's like the fucking like super concentrated, the strongest, part. is it? Yeah, tits. Yeah. So like I'll like you'll save that and then I'll you know if you get a good bowl you sprinkle that on top or. How do they make that fucking dabs shit? Like the, I've made it. How do you? Is it hard? Is it like? There's different ways. You can you can press it where you like squeeze the nug with a machine that like really compacts it, and, and there's like a temperature difference. It like heats it up, and you see the wax just goo right out the side. Get the fuck out of here! Uh, I've made it the very very um, Breaking Bad methy way, which is blasting it with butane. Hmm. So you you take. It's a process. It is. It's, it's a. It's a process. You, you use butane and, and you go through a lot of it and you want to do it in a well ventilated area because the room can explode if something fucking. I believe it. No, oh, I know. I know this from what I was yeah. just talking to you. It's but it, yeah, probably, basically, it probably pools on the floor. I bet. It, yeah, <laughs> it, it does. It all. All the shit drips out. It's like a liquid form. It, it runs right through, and then you got to heat it up and melt it all, burn it all off, and then you're left with just the THC that came out of the plant. Also, oh, after you milk it, for lack of a better term, then you got to. Then you gotta cook it off. Mm -hmm. it's Damn, it's, like, it's, like, it's almost like cooking crack. It's a day. It's like cooking crack. It's a day like pro it's a whole day process, man. No, you got shit. fucking shit going on the stove. You got holy fuck. You got yeah. It's a thing. It's it's super dangerous. Now just, just and illegal. And a, is it? Oh yeah. 
You can't do that. That's not. I'm like pretty a- sure it's very illegal to to butane blast fucking hash in your no. house. I know that, and um, <coughs> I watch a uh, fucking. I don't know what it's called anymore. It used to be Live PD, mm-hmm. but in Florida, you get busted for weed. They're like, you got a medical card. You got a, no, no medical card. All right. Oh, what got some wax felony. Yeah. Damn. I remember hearing, I heard a rumor about that here, like when they first started coming out with those little pens, those THC pens. Yeah. That yeah. was like, that was a felony. That wasn't weed. It was modified weed. Right, right. I've never heard of anybody ever being a thing. Yeah. Right. That's true. But I, oh, so that's what I wanted to ask. Um, cause I, I, again, I don't know fucking shit about this. You got an ounce of whatever, whatever you would have an ounce on hand of. How much, how much, wax or what is it is it wax is that what it's called how wax. much of that do you get out of an ounce of okay so when i it it varies it, it depends on how, how potent it is and how much thc is in that particular strain okay when i did it last time i blasted through probably about a half pound okay of trim and bud and went through 12 cans of butane and Ooh. got about an ounce of wax. And that's super hyper concentrate, like fucking. Yeah. No shit. So, so half pound. Uh, so well, that's that? probably going to be most of my. So next... that's like eight to one. Eight ounces. Yeah. Down, it's so down to one. Yeah. And a gram of wax, you can get about for 40 bucks, 30, 40, 50 bucks, depending on how good it is. No shit. Yeah, so Did I mean, you prefer it or not? Nah? I like it. I like both. I like both. If I'm doing dabs, I like to still smoke because you get a little bit more of a different balance from smoking the flower. You know, that was, that is one thing. Well, and the edibles too, that I, I'm actually kind of disappointed that I missed. I, I fucking, just because, you know, like shit, DMT, man, I want to fucking try that shit. I would love to. Actually, I had somebody recently told me they can get DMT. I know a few people that do it. I probably can get it. I just, it's on my list. I just had, I had a little mushroom trip the other day too. How was it? Is I it? heard there's a fucking word in the hood for that, and you can get it places. Is Mario it? bars. Fucking go into the spots and fucking buy mushrooms. Mario yeah, bars. Yeah, a, a lot of places. No there's, shit. There's polka dot bars. There's polka dot. Is it really? I've, I've gotten them. Damn. There's, there's uh, syrup. There's, it's a bottle. It's a potion. Mushroom potion. It's a four. There's four grams of mushrooms in this little liquid bottle. It's get like a fucking fuck scissor bottle. No shit. And it's like fruity flavored. And the fucking, you'll fucking go. You'll, you'll go tr- on I've one? gotten like six or seven trips out of one bottle. Get the fuck it's out of here. What shit. do they charge for it? Like a hundred bucks? 50 mm, bucks? No, like, like 40, 50 bucks. No same shit. As, same as like a, like an eighth. Because they, mushrooms are about the same price as weed. Right. 40 bucks an eighth. Yeah, that's what I used to so say. So those bars are going to be three and a half grams. What is the bar? Is it like a... It was like, is it edible? It's like chocolate, chocolate. candy. Oh, it's shit. Your, and you don't taste. Yeah. I know. I didn't know how to order this shit. Why? She said, pick up the pile. And she goes, what did you get? She <laughs> <laughs> said, a lot. Oh, so I, so that's why it's called the bars. I thought it was it's just chocolate. Like, no, because that's one of the best ways to, to um, infuse mushrooms is chocolate. Really? Yeah, because it like. It melts right into it. There's no pieces. There's no. You don't taste it. It's, it tastes like a fucking Hershey bar. No shit. But, you know, I was a fucking weirdo when I used to eat mushrooms, and and I I think I told you too. I I was like fifty fifty. I would either have a fucking amazing time or it was the worst time ever. Yeah. So I always rolled the dice and I always knew this. And when I was freaking out, I always said this was the last fucking time. And then next time it was available, I was like, let's yeah. roll it, motherfucker. But um, uh, I used to. I would chew them up into like a pulp and just suck on the fucking shit. And people are like, oh my God, how could you? And I, I, I enjoyed the taste of. I, I, I'm not against, I, I wouldn't say I've ever done that. Oh, I was like. But I, I mean, I had no, I would certainly find, you know, the, the process of chewing and eating the mushrooms. I fucking. Is part of it. I saw all kinds of people doing like, oh, put it in peanut butter and do all this shit. And I was like, fuck you. Mm-hmm. The one time I, uh. I got some, it was a, it was an eighth in a baby food jar. Mm. I bought it from a dude at work. Uh, I think it was 35 bucks and uh, brought it home. We split an eighth and it, and it wasn't enough. It wasn't, it was like, it was like, I was like, this is fucking whack. So the next day I was like, yo, that shit was whack. I'm going to need a quarter. And he goes, I don't know, dog. These are different. 
I know it was only yesterday. I called this dude Pickle. And uh, <laughs> he said, I really would just get an eighth and try it again this way. And I said, nah. I was like, dude, I don't time, motherfucker. I don't have m- multiple days to figure this out. <laughs> so I got the fucking to two eighths. And boy, was he right. Oh. I was fucking juiced, bro. Yeah. It was a real bad one. Oh, no. It was real good for a minute, and then it was not good. That was, that's when I was calling work, trying to quit oh, at first because I thought I was famous. Oh, you told me that story. Damn, yeah. Well, I was fucked up. It was fucking. But then other times I've had like real bad times and I've had real good times. Yeah. I remember sitting at the Swilberg bar mm-hmm. with this dude who definitely had some kind of massive physical disabilities. But he was drinking at the bar. So he would, But he talked like that. He uh, didn't have a trach or nothing. Was it the guy that died? I don't know. Was it? Did he have a mustache? Nah, he was. A, he, it, it wasn't the fucking dude from Monroe Ave. No, what's his name? Uh, oh, um, not Steve. Uh, fucking shit. He Uncle, just died. Uncle this, fucking uh, this year. Everybody knew him. Yeah. Why can't I think of his fucking name? He used to hang out at Gordy's house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, Gordy's a fucking South Wedge fucking yeah. staple. I can't remember his name off the top. They called him Uncle something. Yeah. It wasn't Steve. Uh... No, this dude they called Munchie. Okay. And he was like, I don't know if he was like, it was the proper term midget. Oh. But he was very small. Yeah. <laughs> but he didn't have like a fucking box or anything. And I don't even know if he was speaking English. And it was the, f- I was, you know Killer? You probably know Killer. No. Big white dude. Mm-hmm. fucking killer if he was like i mean they can't he's fucking killer yeah but uh he was up there and i i only knew him a little bit but we ended up getting to know each other then because i was laughing so fucking hard dude it was like the funniest fuck i i kept going like this Woo! <laughs> dude i was fucked up man i was like and i was by myself fucking yeah. all up at this bar fucking wiling out so i had a good time then yeah. And then the next time I didn't have a good time. Not but so so no shit, man. I didn't realize that it was like that prevalent that there's all this shit. Oh, mushrooms are every, that's the thing now because weed is so nothing now. Everybody's got, you know, weed. Right. So now mushrooms are the new the new grapes. That's like the new ooh. That's the new weed. No shit. Yeah. I, some, I, I read today people talking about uh acid. Yeah. And I, I only did acid once. I freaked out. I pulled it off my tongue and watched it dissolve it in my finger. Hmm. It was like a jelly tab. Cool. Didn't really do shit. I felt like I smoked 100 blunts. But it, but besides that, there was no like visuals and shit. Yeah. We quit smoking weed. Had this epiphany. Threw it all away. Totally regretted it like two days later. Interesting. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah. It, well, it was good. We were like, yeah, fuck this. We don't need that shit. Threw it all away. Dude had his brother's pipe that was like fucking passed down from this person no. and this person. A big like multi-piece brass that was like this long, you know, multiple chamber. Threw it away. Threw it away. Yeah. And then like fucking a week later, he was like, should I go get a dime? I was like, yeah, let's go hit Murray. Yeah. <laughs> fuck, fuck this shit. <laughs> I'd be more bummed out about the pipe. Oh, it, it all came together at once that it was, we made a mistake yeah. at, the, at the time on this cheap acid it was a but um the the guys in the comments were arguing oh you never had lsd all the lsd was produced by fucking so-and-so and and you had srt or or some other shit i was like what the fuck they're like oh that's guaranteed to produce a bad trip if you had a bad trip you had this sri or whatever the fuck it was and I was like, damn, this shit is so beyond me. That is, yeah, I don't know anything. I don't know nothing about this shit. Yeah, it's too Double hard. dip, triple silver surfer, fucking all of like. Yeah, you gotta be really into that shit to have all <laughs> that real? Kind of information. I know uh, my buddy that died, he, uh, I wasn't there for a poly was there because they met at the fucking, at the foster home. His, AJ's family was foster parents and okay. Polly was at their foster home. And they were, he said they were trying to make acid from Foster's beer some recipe online and it required like a 55 gallon drum and a large ore (laughs) what the fuck dude i always laughed at that story holy shit and they were like fucking pouring this foster's beer into some kind of mold that grows on fucking something in australia i don't know it was fucking Uh, crazy okay but it was like it was like funny as shit it didn't ever turn into anything but a vat of wasted beer that makes sense though i get the the concept i i I, it makes sense yeah because ass is made from some kind of mold right yeah so I, I I thought that was fucking hilarious. That is, but I didn't realize. And but that DMT does sound fun. They try to sell me that shit on Alibaba all the time. Yeah. Oh fuck yeah. On where? Alibaba. What the fuck is that? Fucking the the Chinese. Uh, it's like Chinese Amazon. 
I don't know anything about this. AliExpress. You can buy fucking suppressors. You can buy fucking. Did you ship it to you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I'm fucking not kidding you. It takes like a month. Oh, that's all right. Six good, weeks. Good things are worth the wait. But then I'm like, dude, I don't know if I want to fucking try DM, fucking Chinese DMT. I don't know, man. Ah, uh, no. no. <laughs> you know what I mean? That shit could be like fucking battery acid or something. Yeah. Next thing you know, you go somewhere you, you don't never come back. You turn into the juice, man. You still want to try it. Did though. you hear the juice man shit when you were growing up? No. He took he was he had a bad day and he had a sheet of acid in his pocket. Everybody knew this guy. They met him before. And it was raining. Oh. And it soaked into his leg and now he thinks he's a bottle of juice. That's from a movie. Dude, it's been a I fucking heard this shit all in my life, through my whole life. I've met people know him. No, that's real. I know it's an urban legend of fucking what drugs. What was the movie? The blonde kid. It was the uh SLC Punk. Was it really? That was an SLC punk Get with a the kid. Fuck out of the here. kid had a fucking pocket full of acid and he ran through the sprinklers and he fucking lost his mind. No shit. Yeah. I bet you that's where that started. That's oh. what I'm saying. Well, that was Matt Lillard. Maybe mm-hmm. they might have heard this urban legend and was, fucking. Yeah, wasn't Matt Lillard, that Matt Lillard? That was Matt Lillard's movie, but the kid that it happened to is dead now. He was one of those like teen in the 90s, blonde hair, bowl cut kids. Was he the one that hung himself? One Possibly. of them. There was like three or four. The one kid who did sidekicks with fucking Chuck Norris. I know he died. I always thought he was cool as shit. He, well, yeah, he didn't die. He, he killed Jonathan himself. Brandis. Is that who that, that is? That was Jonathan Brandis. He yeah. hung himself. There was Corey Haim. He died of yes. suicide yeah, yeah, or drug yeah. overdose. Yep. The Corey. There was this other kid. This other kid that was right around the same time as the last, as the first one. Yeah. No shit. But, uh, oh, I forgot his name. He might, maybe he's alive. I thought he died. But, can't keep track of all these. They're all, <laughs> all these Hollywood people. Well, that's all Mandela effect shit, man. Because like, there's people that are popping up that I thought were dead years ago. That so I thought that almost thought that just happened to me a little while ago with someone who fucking died. Bob Barker. I knew he was alive. I thought he died eight years ago. Really? I remembered the whole thing. I remember people sharing memes about Bob Barker. Yep. No shit. <laughs> well, yep. I think that Mandela is a different for everyone, right? Yeah, wouldn't I mean? Sh- shouldn't it be th- in theory? It should be like I don't know. So are we all living in different universes within our brain? We could be. I don't. I don't doubt that. Man, someone said, "What do you?" So I'll 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 answer that with a question. So which okay. is not really an answer. God, yeah. religion. What's your take on that? And I'll and I'll ask why I'm asking that. I think there's something. I right. There's something. I don't know what. I can't, you know, people talk about us living in a simulation. Right. I think a lot of what happened in the Bible was real. Right. I think there's a lot of fake shit. There's a lot of stuff that was made up by people over the years to control other people. So you can't really take it all literal. Yes. But there's a lot of scientific proof that certain elements did happen. Right. I think there's some sort of God figure. I think there's something. Right. Whether it is actually in all of us and we're all elements of God. Mm -hmm. And and that's why it comes down to the power of manifestation. And we actually do have more control of our environment because we are, in fact, you know, part of the creator. Exactly. Um, I think there has been a drastic difference in the world since we've eliminated religion from things. Mm -hmm. I think the less and less people that are that are religious and the more people that are turning towards like dark fucked up shit. Yeah. The world is getting meaner and it shows. This is true. I see it like, do you ever see Ghostbusters 2? Oh, yes. With that pink slime that ran into New York City, and if mm-hmm. you got it on you, you got really mad, and if you yelled at it, it grew and spread, but yes. if you were happy and you sang to it, it, it made good things happen. Right. I think it's the same concept. I think there's just mm. a lot of dark energy around, and the more mean people are, the more it feeds into it, and it spreads like a fucking contagious disease. No shit. And the That's more good... people wow. that aren't praying... Whether you you know you, you have certain beliefs to this religion that religion, if you're spending time praying towards a positive energy, you're still generating more positivity into the world. Right. And when less people are doing that, because more people are negative and pissed off, and there's a lot more people into Satan and shit. Right. Half these fucking celebrities, you see pictures of like fucking Sam Smith and all these motherfuckers. They're oh, wearing right. fucking devil horns and they're doing sacrificial shit on stage. That's influencing these kids. Right. And you're getting more and more of this, and the world is turning fucking meaner and meaner every day. Right. I see a correlation. I'm right. not saying every religion's right. I personally would take a general average of all of them and take what makes the most sense of just more or less don't be a piece of shit. Right. 
they all kind of basically have the uh, yeah. fucking be a good person. There's yeah. Well, I I had my own because I did I did a bid at the Christian school, which I learned a fucking ton. Like I can I can go I can go verse for verse with people kind of shit. Word. I was it I was in. Right. And uh, so it, but it also I'm also an, a pretty free thinker, mm-hmm. and I'm I like to think it's rational. I'm a little nuts, but I think like I I want to understand things, and and I want to make things so I can understand them. Right. And my take on religion was always like, um, it it was a couple things, and it's evolved over the years, but I always thought like. Somebody saw something at some point and said, oh, we're fucked. We got to give them something to believe in. Yeah. And that was where I started. Mm -hmm. But then as I learned more and and I learned the way people write and how I always just assume everything was in English and we always had a million words for everything and that in translating and things like that were lost in translation comes from. And, And they sometimes didn't have the words to explain what they were seeing. So it was written, you know, dragons yep. or this or that or fucking whatever. And, and so that all started to make more sense to me and, and different things like that. But, but then I, I kind of come back around to, um, that where, where I was going with this is the, the creator yeah. and maybe not a simulation, but who knows? Like it always, it, I always thought it was cool. Remember in the end of men in black when it backs out, and then it backs out through the galaxy, through the yep. universe, and then we're in the fucking marble, and the kid's shooting marbles, the alien kid. Like that. Now, now, who's to say the creator isn't? You know, who knows? Isn't that right? So, but, but I, I'm I, I I agree with you, and I'm kind of the same way of pulling, hearing all these different things, yeah. and 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 kind of going with myself, <coughs> like like this makes the most sense to me, you know, and. Uh, and just and all kinds of shit. And I think you're right that that pulling that, you know, people don't go to church. And I and I did and I don't. I did same. I used to. I was raised <clears throat> raised Catholic. I went to Catholic school for many of my earlier years and So you know, you've heard it all too. Oh yeah. You were probably more King James. Wow. Right? Yeah, yeah. Cause I'm not because I the, the, everyone's different. Yeah. They I don't all remember. got like a different um a lot of thous and days and dies. Yes. And and I learned Christianity, which is more like hip, hey man, new oh, the yeah, new okay. NIV. It's hey. more like fucking yeah. It's written in a Jesus. way, yeah, <laughs> fucking like like that fucking hey. uh, what is that from? Um, oh shit, is that Clerks? The fucking the Jesus where he's like with the fucking is that Clerks? Oh. Or, yes, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Jesus statue, yeah, Buddy that, Christ, yes, yeah, yeah. No dogma. I think all in that universe, all, right? yeah. it's dogma. But yeah. yes, ah. That's uh so so that's kind of like what Christian the and where I learned and there's branches of that shit too yeah but yeah that's that fucking makes sense and and I like how you said it like fucking we are getting further away from that we are and and even just as just morals as people you gotta they fucking gotta be you gotta do the right thing you don't have to be the right person to do the right thing you know and and I've dude I've fucking almost killed people yeah but. I you know I feel bad about one person, the other ones I fucking still don't care, yeah. and I and I don't want to be forgiven for that. I fuck still think I'm right for the two. And the one guy he didn't deserve it, but I like to think that you know the balance. Yeah, fucking I like to think that I've in turn done good. I would say so. And I've tried. Yeah, I would say so. You know what I mean? I've tried not to be a piece of shit. Even this like little dumb shit. Like yep. I'll put my fucking cart back. And I know people are like, fuck right. that. It is those little things, man. You know, it's like. Hold fuck, the door for a stranger. Hold Let, the door you know. for a fucking stranger. Uh, uh, anything. Yeah. Dude, there's been, I think, more times than I can count that I remember. I can think of three off the top of my head where I've found debit cards, credit cards, Shit that I could have just picked right up and ran yeah. while I was sitting there. Oh, yeah. And I brought it to the fucking desk. Yep. And I, uh, wallets and shit. I didn't, I didn't even fuck with the cash. Yep. I just brought it right away. And, and I was like, would I have done this if there was no one standing here? Yes, I, yeah. I still would have. I found some fucking glasses at the post office the other day. Someone left on a kiosk and I put them on the fucking counter. Yeah. Like, you know, because someone else is going to go, fuck these my glasses. That bitch. shit counts, man. And so I, I like to think that, you know, where we've all fucked up, we've all done fucked up shit at some point or another. I like to think there's a balance where it's like, yep. hopefully, 
hopefully I'm getting the checks in the right fucking direction because if damn if it does come down to it, man, I'd hate to be like, eh. I don't, I mean, I do, I, I think there's balance in everything. Right. I think there's, the universe is just a hundred percent balance of positive, negative. Yes. It almost has to be. It has to be. It has to be. Although right now it's the negative swing. It is cruel. What do you think? Well, so, so if, if everything, if, if everything fucking gets fucked up, yep. what you talked about earlier, where fucking impeding, not anarchy, uh, what a wipe out. Is that going to be, do you think that's it for everyone? Or do you think that's uh, the those elitist wiping us yeah, regulars that's, that's out? that's just us. You think that's, yeah, that's just us. For this plan. Now, that doesn't mean that, I mean, like, so historically something happens every 11,500 to 12,000 years. That's that's the cycle. Major. That's the cycle, like the Great Flood. Okay. It, it's, it happens over and over and over again, roughly every 11,500, 12,000 years. Right. We're getting real close. Like we're just about past due for something. For a catastrophic. For something along that magnitude. So I feel like they probably know that and they're probably using some of that to their leverage by like gaining financial resources by fucking with us, mm. acting like it's something we can control when it's not. Right. Yeah, I saw one guy talking about he was in Congress or, yeah. you know, where it might be Congress. I don't fucking know. It was the people in all the chairs with the name tags and shit and the name plates. And he right. was like, he's like, no, he's like, I have the data and it says it states that if you did this and this and this and this, it would be point one tenth of one percent of a difference right. if we eliminated everything right now. He's like, and that's not enough. It's not happening. And, and, and he said that that. That is bullshit. Basically, yeah. what he was saying is like, so I don't know. I mean, global warming, I thought what they drilled some ice cores and they said that historically the fucking planet has changed yeah. within a few things. And then it's, it almost seems like shedding skin. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes that bitch has to be cleansed. Well, a lot, I think some of it too, and we haven't really been around to, to prove it because it keeps happening, but, um, planets yeah there's supposedly another planet that we don't know about that we haven't documented hmm. and it orbits very close to earth every 11,000 12,000 years no shit and it causes a gravitational pull that ends up causing floods and all sorts of fucking catastrophic shit on earth really so that's a possibility and they are now recently saying that there is a dark mass on the outer edge of our solar system that could be another body. Get the fuck out of here. And that was supposedly how we started. If you go by the ancient Sumerian texts, they talk about the Anunnaki who started civilization. Yeah. They came from the planet Nibiru, right. which was the, I believe, 11th planet. I don't know how many planets we have now. Nine, ten. I don't know. I but keep it, saying it, Pluto's not one, right. and it is. I don't fucking know. But it would be that planet. It would be their home planet. And then one of their close spins by Earth, they collided to Earth. and then they, So that close. So that close. And that's how we ended up here, because they started civilization here. And they started to... They created us as a slave race to dig for gold. Right. Because they needed gold to save their planet that was damaged. No shit. Which is why we still chase gold and we still value gold. So, the mass on the edge. Yes. Is that, is it, could that potentially be them making the fucking round again? Could be another round coming. That's Damn. why we could be getting to that point. That's why everything could be going haywire and the world could be getting ready to fucking collapse. Just naturally. It would be, it'd be nature. Or somebody it, knows. Or, or the people at the top know. Right. I think there, there's, there's a lot happening. You know, there's also the, I mean, we haven't even touched on the, the migrant crisis. Yeah. That's straight. That's fucking right here. That's, that's like, that's everywhere. Yeah. That's also very unusual because it's the same. It's happening in America. It's happening in England. It's happening in France. It's happening in Spain, Italy. They've just opened up their borders and they're letting all these people in and all these people are like super suspicious. Like right. they're from all different countries. It's not like one place. Yeah, I've just seen in Indian dudes fucking they're, coming to trying to cross into America from Mexico. Yeah, no turbans no, and shit. No women and children. They're all military age men. No shit. Yeah, all oh, like fucking. It's eh. super suspect. It's yeah. everywhere. What do you think that's? Well, I think it's the same thing. I think it's the world powers that be that are trying to disassemble everything and they're trying to get everybody dirt poor, broke, dead, shit up, fucking out of everything, burn it all down and start fresh. Do you think there'll be a choice? 
No. That come with us or you're fucked? Nope. Nah. I think we are all worthless. It's like when they burn down portions of the Amazon so that it regrows better the next year. It's the same concept. <laughs> Damn. I don't know. What the fuck are they going to do? What, what's the point? Isn't this what makes... Isn't this the spice of life? Well, then, fucking... just, then that gets down that weirder, darker fucking hole that we're really run by... <laughs> cool. Reptilians. Creatures. Alien creatures that feed off of our fear and suffering emotionally. And they purposely keep us in this place. Right. And that all of the political figures are in disguise shapeshifters. Do you believe a woman on a plane? Yeah. Uh, the, the first one. Yeah. I think, I think all the videos of her afterwards are not her. Yeah. That's not her. That's not the same. They fucked up on that one. Yeah, no. She saw something that scared her. Yeah. yeah. I, you could tell when people are terrified. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, oh, oh, fucking mental health is yeah. a serious thing. Dude, My I fucking, you know, I've worked very closely with mental health yep. recently. It's pretty fresh in my mind. Yeah. It wasn't ever sporadic. No, that was... it wasn't like oh today I'm fucking totally schizophrenic. But now yo hey chill man. Yep. Tomorrow yo I fucked up. Now I'm not saying you, people can have a bad fucking day. No, and I saw another video of her from right afterwards uh, in the airport terminal. Yeah, begging the cops not to let the plane leave. Right, everyone's gonna die. Yeah, I don't know what she saw, but she saw something. Something's something spooked her. There's something. There's there's something there, man. I don't I don't think everybody's really fully fucking human as crazy as it sounds like yeah, i think it sound crazy to me there's genuinely i believe something running things on earth that's dude, not dude if us. they got fucking russian people that are here that are that are american that you cannot tell that they are not from here that yeah. english is a second language or possibly a third language i and they just are in with everybody and they have been and vice versa apparently yeah. I don't see why they couldn't be, or there couldn't be some, what the fuck's to say there's not? I've seen so many videos where people, like, you see their eyes blink sideways. Blink sideways, I've seen that shit. It's like, that's that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> and weird, like, weird, like, uh, we'll say the focus is there. Yeah. And, like, someone doing some fucking weirdo shit off, like, yeah. in a crowd, off to the side, doing some shit that... The focus of this was on this stage, and someone just happened to see somebody over in there doing some fucking weird. That security guard for Obama. With the fucking. You can see his with, face like morphing a little bit. Yeah, it yeah. turns his head and shit. Yep. Yeah, that was a little bugged That out. was one of those. Yeah. Do you think uh, Michelle is Michael? Yes. I. Me too. I've seen that picture. If that's real, dude, that's definitely Which that one. Which one? Which picture? Where fucking Obama's got his arms around the dude. That looks um, just like I've her. heard that's a Photoshop picture. Oh, is it? But I do believe that she's a, a man. I seen her dancing on Ellen with, with a big dick swinging. swinging. Yeah, she's man. her back muscles, man. When you see the the behind, that's the latest of the pictures of her and him behind. Oh, from the back shot. Yeah, and her muscles look like her back looks like a linebacker. No shit. It's this like is, a, it's fine. I mean, I, that's, I don't get why. Like, because like when you suggest that to people, they get all like, "Oh my god, I can't believe you say that." Why would you say it? You're a piece of shit. It's like, why is that so far fetched? Right. It's, why is that so hard to believe? And I, and I don't even think, I think that would be because it wouldn't even be like some secret thing. It would be because they don't want fucking problems. Right. They're, they're, it's almost like a shame thing. Like you couldn't have had this job if you were gay. Which I feel I like think is horseshit. she's going to come out and then run for president and going to like, that's going to be the new target audience. That could be. Oh, that would be a fucking great fucking like shit. That actually would... That's not a bad idea. Yeah? <laughs> I mean, right? We need no government. Damn. We need to... We and need now to, they're trying to make us fucking get a background check so they know how many bullets you got. We need a full... We need a full reset, man. Oh, fuck. I'm scared. I'm not even really scared for me. I'm scared for the fucking little ones, man. That's why I didn't have any. <laughs> Dude, fucking... I, like, am worried about them motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's a house right down the street, man. It's on the list. I seen yeah. the dude. He looks like my cousin walking oh. down the street. I go, oh, that motherfucker looks like Jesse. And I go, oh shit, that was the sex offender guy that was fucking trying to snatch kids. Oh. I worry about them for all different reasons. How old are your kids? Uh, one will be twelve on Thursday, and the one just turned ten on okay. the fourth. All right, so they're like, 
getting closer to safe age. Oh, and, and the one right there is 17, the one that just came and yeah. presented the shit. So they're not like toddlers. No, no. And and that's what, and when her and I were all fucked up in the game, yeah, I was like, when, when she was like, when it, everything was as bad as it was, I, I, I couldn't bring myself to leave, even though I fucking thought about like, I, I and I worried about them because yeah. they were young and they were little and what the fuck. And and now I look like now they're at an age where they are like not babies anymore. Yeah. And that, and I've now realized like they're not babies anymore. They're fucking. So hopefully they're not like snatch material. And they they are pretty fucking deep around here. Yeah. If you haven't noticed, this is like fucking crazy. I'll have twelve fucking kids on my porch. Yeah. But I'm just worried about everything like the. The political aspect mm-hmm. of of things in their ear, like they already had to have meetings and talks at the beginning of the school year about like respecting people's feelings. Well, not feelings, but you know, like um, you know, if someone is them, they, or if someone, which which I understand, and and I I do understand that fucking. I don't want to purposely hurt anyone's feelings. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I troll and shit and fuck around, but if if. You know, if if Aaron was to say like, "No, nah, I want to be that. I want to be whatever," I'm I'm not gonna be like, "Fuck you! What's wrong with you?" Yeah. You know, because dude, I wanted to be. I thought I was gonna be a fucking famous musician, and no one no one ever told me the truth, yeah. <laughs> yeah. bitch. <laughs> anyway, so uh, you know, I I I don't know what I would do, but I worry that they're like in that. This is like the beginning stages of fucking infiltrating the kids really and, is. you know, and making them a certain way. And and whether it be gay, straight, or or just believe everything. It's just believe the focus, everything. though. It's that that's the fact that that's the focus. Right, 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 that's right. That's so, uh, un, like... See, this shit yeah, is crazy, right? Like it's, especially, like, if you look at other countries. Like, look at what China and Russia are teaching their kids. And then look at what we're teaching our kids. Yeah. We're fucked. Oh, big time. Like, they're teaching big their time. kids how to be smart. They're teaching them how to fight. They're teaching them weapons. They're teaching them how to be productive. They're te- if you look at TikTok in China, yes, it's all science shit. It's all technical shit. It's all patriotic China shit. Right. But here in America, it's stupid shit. Brain it's, rot it, it's bullshit. It's dances. It's goofy dog shit. It's like, that's intentional. It's stupid we're, we're things s- to get you killed. And they in, <laughs> they influence our education system. China has donated millions and millions and millions of dollars to our higher education system. Really? They are controlling our colleges. They are the reason that all these kids for the last 20 years coming out of college are all pissed off and filled with hate and right. they're all confused and they just don't they don't know what they want to fucking do. And it's weird too because I know that the curricula, curric, curriculum curriculum curric, curriculum what the fuck is the word? I like the first way but it's not right but I liked it. Curriculum. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking curriculum. 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 There it is. There it is. Try to get me to say uh what the fuck is the other word that I can't say peculiar. 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 That's a tough one. I struggle. Stri- struggle. Struggle with that. Yeah, one. I struggle with the <laughs> peculiar too. Um dude, he brings me sixth grade math and I couldn't do math ever. Never yeah. ever in my life. But I'm going, what the fuck is this? It's shit? weird now, right? It's, it's not real math. It's like confusing math. It's like, write down how many hundredths and how it would be if it was like this. I'm like, what is a fucking riddle? Yeah. Well, but even, it's it's super advanced, but then they're not picking it up. Yeah. And it's okay, because they just keep passing. Yeah. And But they still, they're like asking me, how, how do I do this? I'm like, dude, I don't fucking know. This isn't what they were teaching. When we no, were... they're in calculus and trig. Did you have that in high school? I never uh, went to a regular high school, I so I don't know. I didn't go to that. Like, I was... When that was starting to roll out, I was starting to drop out. Okay. So, not entirely. I just never, it was never, I was at, my graduating class was two. Yeah. One of them was a homeschool student that came on Fridays for extracurricular curricular, uh, yeah. activities. So, um, uh, th- there wasn't big trig. Yeah. I wasn't doing fucking, you know, whatever, calculus. Uh, so I don't know. I I don't know what's what is it supposed to be. But oh, this shit seems super advanced. But it doesn't seem like they're fucking picking it up. They, it's just a part of. And I don't know where it's useful. Like it's not like no. anything they're gonna use. It's hell not, no. 
even like like the common core math shit is 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 very it's just confusing it's like the confused yes, people yes and and again i i mentioned this before um the teachers that always told me it's not like you're gonna walk around with a calculator in your pocket you right bullshit got everything you need the only thing i know are sevens from weighing quarters that's it i know sevens i know fucking sevens I know fucking how many grams are an ounce. I know how many grams are in a pound. You know, that that's the only math I know. All the rest of it, dude, you asked me what six times four is. I have no fucking idea. I really have to sit there and go six, 12, 24. 20. Look at that, 24. I was I could have said 32. Yeah. If you would have said 32, I'd have been like, boom. There it is. Third grade, fucking uh, Tamor Danzy and fucking... And the kid Tyrell were doing backflips off of desks and shit. It was a total fucking nut house. So multiplication tables, I don't I don't know. I don't know none of that shit. No. I know seven times seven is forty nine for the for San Francisco 49ers. A tutor told me when I got fucking when I wasn't allowed in school anymore. I took that from that. Yeah. So I know seven times seven, but also I know fucking you know, seven quarters. There's, there's a few that stuck out of my mind. But Lucky. Yeah, <laughs> well, you don't, I, you I had don't, some mean ass teachers though. Where, you where'd you go? You went to a, not uh not Franklin, right? Or Ed- for high school, I went to Marshall. Marshall. Yeah, that shit was crazy. It was a it was a good time. Where is that? That's not on uh, Ridgeway. It's on Ridgeway. Yeah, right by Dewey and Lake Athens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who? What? What Pop Warner team was there? Was that Tenth War Tigers or Southwest Colts? I have no idea. He's we had the Marshall jurists. The Marshall Jurists? Yeah. That was the team? That was the football team. No shit. Yeah. What the fuck is a jurist? Like, that, like that's jury. A, like the, jury duty. Is it Cause really? Because it, it was our... So at the time, it was a magnet school of, of law. It was the Marshall Law Magnet School. Really? Because like Wilson was like... Wilson was mag- magnet adventure. something. Yeah, yeah. And Edison was like the technical school. Right. And Marshall was supposed to be the law and government Get the fuck magnet. out of it. Really? It was like some corny like technicality that was just to, to put a name to it, but... <laughs> I didn't take any of those fucking classes or anything. Did they have them? I think maybe. I I missed that whole experience. Yeah, it was. I, I only did it for like two experience. years there, but then you said fuck this shit. Yeah, I was done in eleventh grade. Was it crazy, or did you just were tired of it? I just had no interest. I was I was over school. I was never for sitting in a classroom. And once I figured out I could get away with not having to, and somehow convinced my mom that my report card said absent because I was just late every day. Right. Because <laughs> I was just late every day. That, that only worked for so long, but <laughs> yeah, fucking a. I uh, I did three three weeks at a at a real high school yeah. at Medina High School. Okay, I was in ISS. Shit, it had to be tw- on my birthday, twenty something years ago. I was sitting in motherfucking ISS. I got out. Of ISS, I got a week. I didn't even know what that was. Yeah. Do you remember that? Do you? We, did you have in school suspension? Yeah, I got. That was my last week. Get was, the fuck out of it, dude. When I was in middle school, that didn't exist. They just sent our asses home five was, days. So Boom. I got caught skipping school, and they initially suspended me for a week of out of school. Yeah. And then the principal called my mom the next day and said he thought I was getting off easy, and he wanted me in for in school suspension. So I went back for ISS. No shit. And then this kid shot a spitball at me, and I jumped up and went after him. And then I got kicked back out to out of school again. And then they wanted to send me to Shape, which was the school they were sending kids that were getting kicked out of city schools. At the Shape, time. huh? That oh. was the name of the that school. That was probably for the like kids. Josh Lofton. That was like the Lofton back then. Was it? That's a I'm, I'm, I'm Lofton yeah. era. And uh, yeah, and then I just dropped out. My mom was like, "There's no point." Just that when I quit. And before they said they were going to take my mom to jail, that's what she told me. She's like, are you going to try? Yeah. And this is my third year of seventh grade at Nathaniel. And I was like, no. I said, no. And she goes, all right, then you don't have to go. And school started and I just never did. Yeah. And it was after like a month that fucking they sent like they sent the letter. Right. And then they were like, next time it's getting delivered by the fucking police or Somebody's something. And you're going to fucking jail. Right. So then I had to get a tutor and it was a big deal. But then we moved right after that. Like yeah. I finished the year at Hope Hall on Buffalo Road. Okay, which that place was tits. Yeah, they like fucking cared about these kids. I, I know that place. Do you? I think I know. I might know somebody that goes there. Dude, the fucking they cared about, and it only went to eighth grade. And I started there in eighth grade. I went there as a seventh grader. Yeah, and they said, ah. 
we'll start you at eighth grade. And I was like, yes. Okay. Fucking A. And yeah. they, dude, they, it was like kids with, like they were behind either mentally or um, physically in some cases. Yeah. They were bad kids, kids that couldn't fucking get along. So I was in these groups of all these kids with all these different, whatever your individual problem was. And it was like the best fucking environment I think I almost ever went to school in, which is, which is, you would think that it would be like the kids who were like me, the problematic bad kids would be like, oh, this fucking whatever, you know, dude, there was so much respect between the kids there that nobody was ever like, he's a retard. There was never any of that shit. Yeah. It was everyone got along. Everyone was fucking, it was very strange. I really enjoyed going to school there That's and cool. they bumped me up a grade. Fuck yeah. Oh, man, I'm fucking, then I did that a couple more times at the next, at the Christian school that I went to. That was tits. I graduated on time somehow. What year did you graduate? Oh, four. Okay. And I, w- I was set after I fucked up all those times in middle school. I was set to be like, oh, six. Yeah. Or maybe even beyond. You need to take, you want to fucking get up and do a stretch mm-hmm. and go get some Chinese food? That's right. <laughs> Damn. What do we got? What do you think? Two. Two, man. 159.36. Ooh. God damn. Yeah. But so I'll make it. I'll fucking wrap this up, this part of it. So Hope Paul was fucking tits. And, uh, but I, I went to Medina High School. I was just fucking fighting. I had to be the bad city kid when we moved out. Right. And I, I think I told you this in multiple conversations <laughs> over the years that it was, uh, <clears throat> you know what it's like going to school in the city. Yeah. I was the, the only white kid for a lot of my schooling. Right. Now, they're all white kids. Yep. And I'm like, I didn't feel right. No. I was like, this something's not right about this. You're black inside. Dude, I fucking, you know, like yeah. I would, now I'd get fucking crucified if I actually said that. Yeah. But my upbringing, all my formative years was around black kids. Yeah. My whole fucking life. Right. You know? I get it. You know what I mean? You know? Yeah. Fuck, you were shit. So, I'm like, I'm at this school and then... And I'm like, what do you, th- why are you guys dressing? You're not, I know where this is. <laughs> this is not you. Right. I fucking watched somebody get their brains fucking blown out. Like I've seen some shit. Yeah. And this is like, so I would had a super chip on my shoulder and uh, I got back from that. He was like, you got, you got, you're suspended for five days. And I, but the words out of my mouth were good. I get to be home on my birthday. And he and he had you know that look when someone knows something that you don't know yet. This motherfucker was like, "Well, we have a thing here called ISS," and I'm like, "International Space Station, huh?" <laughs> or no? Yeah, no. He and he said, and I was like, "Okay." And he's like, "That's at the old high school, which was the church I ended up going to and the Christian school I ended up going to." Okay. They they had one single room there with this dude, and I go, and he goes, "You just." bus takes you there in the morning and you fucking sit there and you just do your work all day and i was like what is this fucking shit you're talking about because i don't ever remember that i used to get vacations all the time right three days or five days depending on how bad you fucked up if you touch somebody it was five days if you were an asshole it was three days so i learned quick i was like oh this is whack yeah this is fucking way whack i went back next thing i'm fucking throwing my hands up all right fucking i'm gonna definitely make sure that i don't get an in-school suspension for this one and then they, then I had to leave. <laughs> I had to leave Medina High School. But then my mom had found this great school that I had been in the building of. And that's how I ended up going there. But then they bumped me up. I said, come to summer school. Fucking, you'll come here in ninth or whatever. Come to summer school. We'll put you in 11th. Yeah. And then I fucking end up skipping a grade and then fucking another grade. And I was back in where I was supposed to be. It was crazy. You smart motherfucker. No. Yes. No. I played the game. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's why. Yeah, I put, but I wasn't playing these people. They were that. There was something important to them. It was like thirty-five kids, a lot of cult-like shit I experienced. Yeah. But also a lot of people that fucking cared about me. Yeah. That really cared how I how I ended up, when the, regardless of how I got to being the person that I should have been. Yeah. They cared that. Um, that I turned out okay. And then I fucking stabbed a bunch of people while I was there. Wow. And then they told me, you can't come back to school for the rest of the year because they said I, I had death threats and shit. 
and they were like, you could be targeted here. Mm -hmm. So they were like, go home for the rest of the year. <laughs> they gave me like 10 pieces of paper. I went home. I did the pieces of paper. I chilled the rest until the end of school. <laughs> And then I think I came back and I was a senior and I fucking didn't do shit. Fuck yeah. yeah and they were all, and that was like the man. They wrote all, <laughs> they wrote letters to the judge saying, <laughs> like, this is a good fucking kid. <laughs> Dude, fucking, it was, and I, and I love them and I'm not clowning them. They were, and I was me. That's great. But they just didn't know that like, I was blunted. I was drunk. <laughs> I was fucked up. I was having all these serious, and I, cause I didn't bring it there. Right. I, I was me there. I right. was like this other me. That didn't have a drug problem. That wasn't fucking struggling. No lady fucking came to AJ's funeral. She came to my, my principal. She came to his fucking funeral and shit. Like, you know. Shit. So, anyway. Word. Fucking city school is fucking our education up. Yeah, man. <laughs> you got to roll out. Good. Yeah. I think so. You're done? You're done? Probably. You're done? Close. He, he said, he said, give me some fucking sesame chicken oh and get me the fuck out of here. Let's go eat. Chains. Thank you, dude. I think thanks we, for having me, man. I think we got another two hours at some point. Yeah, because we were just like scratching the surface. Oh, we got another. We got another hundred hours. Yeah. So again, we'll do this again. It's, oh, for sure, man. All right, everybody. This was, uh, and I think potentially <laughs> this could come out being the one year anniversary Ooh. for the show, which is mind boggling to me. Cool. Fuck yeah. yeah. So thank you. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Fucking tune in. We don't got much time left. <laughs>